This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva Luxury Mattress, the only online mattress company that provides free delivery, setup, and mattress removal. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. Do I have some dates for you? I've added two very tiny shows in the YooHoo room at Flappers, Flappers Comedy Club in Sperm Bank, just to kind of wet my beak getting back into headlining because I'm going to start touring in 2019. So in the YooHoo room, come see me October 21st. That's a Sunday, and then October 28th, and then November 10th in West Siloam. I'm, I'm assuming that's how you say. It. How do you say West Siloam? Siloam Springs Where? in Oklahoma. I have Cherokee no idea. Casino. Huh. No idea. Okay. Uh, November 24th, my first show in Man Diego has sold out. I've added a 10 o'clock show at the House of Brews in San Diego. And then December 7th in Fill Her Up Delphia, first show sold out. I've added a late show in Fill Her Up Delphia. And then December 8th, the next night, Jew Dark Titties, late show added. At the Gramercy Theater, get your tickets at Christina P. Online. And I'll be announcing 2019 dates very soon. Oh, shit. So excited. And thank you for all your submissions for tour date uh, tour names. Yeah. And uh, we've made a decision. I'll let you know later. Great. How about you, um, Tom Jean? Later this month, I'll be in Fresno and Bakersfield. Then I head to Flo Rida. I'm going to go... And do Fart Myers, Jack Me Off Phil, <laughs> Orlando, and Augusta, yeah, Georgia, man. the first weekend of November. There's um there's a few tickets left for a couple of those shows and then a few are sold out. Uh, and then from there I do my very exciting week at the uh, Wellmont in Montclair and four shows at the Merriam in Phil Her Up Delphia. The late Friday show in Philly is the one with tickets available. If you haven't gotten tickets yet, go there. And, of course, all my 2019 dates or the first half of the year is on sale. All at TomSegura.com slash tour. Check those out. I started off uh, January 5th in San Francisco at the Masonic. That's exciting. Amaze. Yes. Where the dudes are. That's where the dudes are, Gene. We have so much to talk about. So much to talk about. So much to get into, Gene. So much to get into, Gene. Let's do this. Here we go. Where is my Here folder? You Here you go. Hey. Uh, Blow me up, Tom. Here it is. <laughs> 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 Take me out African style. Here we go. dun 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 I fucking hung up the goddamn phone call. Stupid fucking asshole jerk. I hung up the fucking phone call. This shit is big time. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother to this. Your mom in the fucking stand. Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. Someone didn't get the right order there, huh? Well, you know, we've been talking about people who are so rude when they make their phone calls on speakerphone in it's public. It's probably my greatest pet peeve. It's it is mine too. Only I've I've gotten a new one. I'm going to tell you about in a minute here. It, it's uh it's in my act now. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so it's bothering <laughs> it me really, so much. It bothers me too, but it proves I think a theory that we might be having that people that are doing their phone calls in public on speakerphone are either mentally ill or mm -hmm. on drugs. Um, do you know what's funny? What? You haven't seen, obviously, you don't see these folders, even the files or anything. Right. Uh, one of these clips of this lady is called Drugs or Mental Illness. There you go. Yeah. That's a new game we're going to play on this show. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're going to have Dr. Drew come in, and then he's going to verify drugs or mental He should definitely weigh in on okay, this Okay, I'm going to put this on the Drew list. Uh, before we go even further on, on this, I want to, don't forget what your pet peeve is. Yeah. I want to congratulate my uh, friend, uh, last week's guest, Finesse Mitchell. Oh. A, an alum of the University of Miami on his team's 
nauseating win this past weekend. Oh, they beat I, the semen holes? I lost the bet, so I'm wearing his shirt. Oh. Wearing his shirt. Congratulations, Finesse, and congratulations to the biggest piece of shit fan base in all of sports, the <laughs> University of Miami Hurricanes. Um, oh, you're oh, you're saying the fans are even POSs. <laughs> oh, they're the worst. They're such garbage people. Seriously. I've spent so much time down there. I used to go to Orange Bowl all the time. They're animals. They're the biggest pieces of shit. No, I don't know much about sports, so I can't really, but I've heard that Raiders fans are pieces of shit, too. That'd probably be a fair thing to say. And, <laughs> <laughs> now I, I but only because their behavior is bad from that's what, what I that's, understand that's what we're talking about yeah, yeah okay yeah. well here's the thing too about because I know you don't spoil for it every every single fan base has garbage people in it sure every single one and people when the people will act like that their team doesn't and they're full of shit you know especially when you're talking about a sizable fan base you know? right I mean maybe if you're like I you know I go to the University of Northern Idaho or some shit where there's like uh, 800 people enrolled okay yeah. maybe, maybe your fucking fan base doesn't but once you're talking about like a national fan base of course it has everything yeah. you know you told me about tailgating parties this is where people just get together oh, and drink yeah. in parking lots well of course, of course they're gonna act like a-holes if uh, some do some some don't i mean i've been i've been in tailgates where people were really decent and like yeah. welcoming and, and nice um sure and look i, I mean some of my best friends our are Miami graduates, alums. Oh, wow. uh, I have friends, good friends that live in Miami. It's not an anti-Miami thing. I'm just I first love of all, it's, oh, I know you do. It's a Oof. it's a sports rivalry. You're supposed to talk shit about your rivals. You're okay. supposed to say that they're garbage. <laughs> um, that was a really good burp. I, that was pretty good. The sound was good. It was crisp. Here was the cheap thing that I did not. <laughs> You're not even going to give me credit on that. No, it was good burp. The thing that was super lame about so the uh, talking shit about Miami, I talked shit about them online. Sure. After, you know, on Twitter, just after the loss. And they're like, I had people who obviously don't know anything about me. They're like, Let, why don't you say what you really mean? And I was like, what do oh. I really mean? And then they implied that I'm talking shit about Miami, calling mm -hmm. them garbage people because I'm racist. Like, oh, oh, interesting. And one guy implied, Which race? <laughs> well, one guy implied that I was racist against uh, Latino people. Oh, sure, Segura. Yeah. Right, who like, speaks Spanish. I didn't even have to like, answer him because everybody just... Or like, your mom's Peruvian. Yeah, people attacked him for me. But yeah, it's stupid. It's just, I, I think that's one of the cheapest, laziest, most idiotic takes on criticism is that you can you spin it to that? It's like a cop out to sure. to talking shit. Talk shit, uh, but it's, also of being uh, like your, your team say, sucks. Right? It's like I, no, you guys are garbage people, and then to be yeah. like you're saying that because we're like Latin. Yeah. It's uh, it's not only is it cheap and lazy and idiotic, mm -hmm. which are three traits you find very often with Miami fans. Sure. But <laughs> uh, it really takes it takes the banter out of it takes all the fun away from talking some shit. It does. It you does. know what it is? It's because these social justice warriors, uh, they're just no fun. And they're out policing all the fun in the world. Uh, these are the new Puritans. They want to make sure that whenever there's a whiff of, uh, of fun yeah. and, and, and levity and busting balls, we're going to stop all that all good of time. I know. Because it's inappropriate. And, you, 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 you. and like, I'll, I'll like, say all the right. same thing in November. God damn it. I'll say the same thing in November about Gator fans because it's a rivalry. You hate the Gator fans. But that's the, that's the fun I have of heard sports. you talk some shit about those <laughs> Gators. I, I know up, nothing about I them. I grew up around, <laughs> surrounded by Gator and Hurricane fans. So I talk shit about them because talk some shit. that's the fun of sports. Now, are the, who's dumber, the Gator fans or the Miami Hurricane fans? I don't fans? know who's dumber. They're Who both, sucks they're, more? They're awful people. They're just yeah, awful, garbage awful people. people. I mean, you know, who's worse, <laughs> uh, Mussolini or Hitler? You know, sure. it's like they're bad guys. Yeah. You know? That's interesting. Yeah. Should be fun for you when you do your shows in Miami. I have nothing lined up. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> let's go. No, but seriously, um, it was it was a ridiculous game. It was so crazy. And uh, finesse, I, I will say. Obviously, I'm wearing a shirt. It smells really good, by the really? way. Really, you gotta smell this shirt. I've never, I've never smelled bad, bad on finesse, and we spent quite some no, time no. with him in yeah. a very hot country, and he never smelled <laughs> I bad. Know. Um, and also, congrats! Uh, don't forget finesse's special. That's right. The spirit told me, right? The spirit told yeah, me. Yeah, I say think it. it's out now on Showtime. No, it comes or, out October nineteenth. Sorry, finesse. October nineteenth. Yes. I saw him uh, on Instagram. He's ever. You don't think I'm gonna do for him anyway? What's that? I think I'm gonna have a promo cut to the seminal war chant. For him for his special. Good idea. Just to like get the word out. Sure. 
You know what I mean? Sure. Just to help them out. Just help the right people like his stuff. Yeah. So I'll just uh, not the dumb, the dumb dumbs. I'll, right? I'll plug it for him. I'll, I'll try to set good. that up for him, and that, that way, good. you know, it'll be it's like a promo and. But right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this lady, do you want to talk? Wait, tell me what yeah, bothers you so now. Yeah. So here's the deal, guys. This one's really horrifying. I like. I, first of all. I like where our fans are going. I like where the show is going. Every now and then we pick up a meme, a swell. Yeah. And right now we're policing asshole behavior in public. And I think it, this is a public service we're doing. So I went to Bark Williams mm -hmm. and I was getting ready for my massage. And they encourage you to use their facilities, right? You got your steam yeah. room. You got your, your fucking jacuzzi full of disgusting cooch broth. I won't even go in the fucking jacuzzi get your life yeah. i saw a woman with really hangy tits hangier than mine or like i was in there just baking i was like no i'm not doing that but i go into the steam room because i can sit on a towel so it separates my vagina from other people's shit right yeah i'm in the steam room i look fucking over there is a woman with shaving cream and a razor and this nasty bitch is shaving fully shaving her legs in the steam room Ugh. at Burke Williams. That's not, ugh. Ugh is right. Wait, what is she doing with each like um, nasty razor swipe? Just whoosh, like, no. Yeah, flicking it onto the floor. I was no. like, no. Yes. This isn't your house. Bro, this ain't your house. I cannot believe it. I was, I almost vomited right there. I literally went, oh, hell no. Like I saw her, I, I sat down, I looked over, I went, hell no. And I got up and I told one of the staff, I was like, dude, there's a lady fully shaving her legs. I don't know what she's going to shave next. Can somebody like educate her on etiquette? This is completely inappropriate. It's disgusting. So I got to, I waited, dude. Like I fucking waited outside Ugh. and I waited for the manager to come. Oh my God, you guys are so disgusting. Yeah. And I waited for the manager and I was like, are you going to go talk to her right now? Like I got all excited, yeah, you know, yeah, like I fun. just told, I yeah. tattletailed. Yeah, it's fun. And then she came out and I was like, how crazy is that woman? How crazy is that one? She's like, well, we get all kinds. I'm like, did you, did you tell her? She's like, yes, she's been she's been told not to do such a thing. I'm like, yeah, it's nasty. That's so nasty. Why but, would you even need someone to tell you not to do that? In a public so steam room, gross, shave and bro. throw your, flick your hair on the ground? It's so disgusting. Well, now I'm so, I'm totally turned off to using any uh, Burke Williams facility of or course. any spa facility now. Because I'm like, Ugh, imagine what this nasty person's doing before you got there. And then I had someone else tell me the other day, the, uh, uh, an acquaintance of mine go, you know, when I'm sick with a cold or a sinus infection, I go to Burke Williams and I use the steam room and yeah, I feel I just, better. And I was like, what? Yeah. Well, this way Don't um, do that. I can see my germs <laughs> leave my mouth and my face and I watch them enter other people. Yeah. And I can ruin everyone else's week, basically. Yeah. I was like, get the fuck. I mean, you think it, you try not to think about that stuff when you use spas. Like how many people are. No, peeing? You want it to be just clean and it's not. I know. It's but disgusting. that's in your mind. You're like, I'm going to a clean. Yeah sterile, no. sanitary, no. safe, relaxing, no. wonderful place. Now, how many dudes are peeing in the jacuzzi, too? Oh, every dude pees in the jacuzzi. Yeah. Or jacks off in there, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there's a sign in the bathroom at, at the spa that's like, you have to shower before, you, if you take a shit, basically, you have to shower before you use the spa or the facility. Mm -hmm. no, who's doing that? You, Nobody. Yeah, I know. You, Nobody. They're being gross. Everyone's being gross. <laughs> yeah, they also have that thing in those spas, by the way, where they'll go, uh, uh, some of them will be like, it's European style here. And you're like, what? Yeah. And that means um, trunks are optional. Yeah. But basically, most American dudes are like, no, wear trunks. But then you'll see guys who are like, <laughs> they'll give you the eyes. And oh. Then, and they'll, the San Francisco eyes? The San Francisco treat <laughs> eyes. And they'll let you know that like... I'm not really into trunks. Are you? And they are you being serious? They give you a signal in the jacuzzi or something? No, they don't give you a signal. I'm just saying that there's like, pe there's people that own it. You know, <laughs> it's like the guy that goes in the steam room, and and does towel. I mean, everyone go in with a towel, ah. but then there's the guy that opens the towel. Ah. And it's like I just feel comfortable. They you nasty. know, they like I just I'm just comfortable like this. And then there's the towel closed, which is like it's not necessary. I wouldn't say it's necessarily etiquette, but it's just. You know, are, are he wants you, you to see what he's yeah, working with. Of course, with. yeah, of course. he wants you to see. Now, Europeans don't give a rip. Obviously, totally different That's culture. Different though. though. Here, it's just more modest. Here, Americans don't show their junk unless they want, Not unless really. they're inviting you in. Yeah, or or I mean, there's there's different guys that show their junk. No, there's inviting you in. Right. There's truly 
I don't care. Like I'm a, like, and you see it sometimes with like a, a really disgusting body. Yeah. They'll be like, yeah. I don't give a shit. They're you yeah. know they're like, everything's gross <laughs> on me. And Which I is the care. most I like the most it's the liberated. One where, yeah, it's the most like, liberated. Yeah, it's actually the guy that has Go. like zero self conscious kind of shit going on with him which is great yeah and then and then there's also the proud buck where yeah. it's like if if you're you know six five totally ripped you yeah. got a 10 inch peacocking. hog yeah it's peacocking where it's like it's like they're not necessarily inviting you they're just being like i'm a specimen Look so my shit yeah my shit's nice now what do you do i think i'm fair i'm not like hiding Right. You know, I'm I'm fairly modest. Where like like I don't I don't I mean, I I'm kind of like the guy who's like, I'm gross. Yeah. Uh, I know no one wants to see it, but I'm <laughs> aging, so I'm getting more into I don't care. Yeah. So I, yes. I hide I kind of hide my body. Yeah. And everything, but I'm also like I'm fucking. I'm what? gross. Yeah. I'm a dad. I'm you yeah. know I'm like I don't care. See, I think you and I are the same way in the spa because I'm kind of I'm like yeah, two babies. This is wrecked. This is all fucked. Yeah. Like I, I'm never gonna be able to be single again and be on the market. Like nobody's gonna, no one's gonna want this. <laughs> so I wear a towel like in uh-huh. the steam room or the yeah. sauna. Like I'll 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 be naked under the towel mm-hmm. and then I'll kind of sit in the towel, maybe unravel it a yeah. little kind of thing. But I'll go, you know, before this last encounter, I would go in the jacuzzi nude. Yeah, but you're but quickly, you know, quickly. Like I'm, you take the robe off and just quickly go in there. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've you know. done it. I've done it before. I, I wasn't like, I don't know. It wasn't a big deal, really. You do it after you there. made a brown, and no. there's remnant. Do you know there's brown probably all over don't those remind spas? Me that. Dude. Don't remind me of that. They're na- especially dudes. They're fucking nasty du- brown dudes. Dudes are nasty. Nasty their browns. Yeah, I know. So there was that nastiness, and then um, there's like a waiting area where you go to the spa, and then you wait for your masseuse to come out, and they're like, ah, Christina. Like they're supposed to kind of whisper your name. It's a very quiet environment. Yeah, yeah. And next to me, I hear this older couple. Just like, what time is our appointment? Like oh, that's full horrible. volume. That's horrible too. That ruins shit for me. It ruins it. Yeah. And that's I can excuse that because the wife did go. Oh shh! I think this is the quiet waiting area. And then the husband goes, Oh, oh, okay. And then he gets on his phone. Beep pop boop pop yeah. beep pop pop. No. Yeah. Tick 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 whoop. Tick 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 yeah. whoop. I'm like, are you fucking joking? And then the phone rings and it's all extra loud because he's Hello? old. Hello. <laughs> and he's. It's extra loud because yeah. they're old as fuck. Yeah. And um, yeah. And then the phone call. We're at the spa. You're like, are you serious? We're bro? in the quiet room. <laughs> We're in the quiet room. The quiet yeah. room. <laughs> God, I know. Like, what is wrong with people? Get your life. You just like you just want an assassin <laughs> on board who just watches it and immediately yeah. kills those people. Yes. And can I tell you at? Okay, because I've been to the Gellert Hotel in Hungary. In Budapest, which is like the most premier, beautiful spa, yeah. like, you know, again, 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 and you, you know, you get naked. Yes, you go in the thermal baths and this and that. You would never fucking see like a Hungarian, like ah, da, 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 like talking rudely. It's just, it's they don't do it. You would, you would be somebody would fucking slit your throat. That's what I'm talking about. I, there's no way, dude. Well, look, like this is a perfect time Ugh. to introduce like what this full clip is. I here. love it. The context <laughs> of this here. This video was recording in a Starbucks. Uh. An employee asked the woman to stop having her call on speakerphone. She loses it. Yeah, she's cracking um, crazy. Oof, man, this this is a, this this gets heated. We just showed you a frat. So here's where it started, kind of. That's what she said. Oh, oh. <laughs> so I can finish the phone call. I hung up the phone call. Oh my god! <laughs> Imagine how, first of all. The audacity to sit in. I, I've been in a, um, before I had, we had, I, there was somewhere we didn't have internet when, I mean, it was like more than, maybe we weren't even living together. It was like. Yeah, there's eras in your life where you yeah, don't yeah. have internet yeah, for yeah, whatever yeah. reason. I'm trying to think of, uh, but I was, I was in Hollywood. Yeah, no, I, I don't even think of, we were dating. Or it's it was, down it was or back something. In, yeah, I, don't, I didn't have a computer. Yeah. And I went to uh, Kinko's, or old, you know, old mm-hmm. FedEx Kinko's. I'm sorry, where? And they have the FedEx. Mm-hmm. And they have the they have like the internet room, and a lady, right. like and then we were all sitting at computers doing different things. This lady was uh, answering the phone like she was at the office, like her office, <laughs> having full fucking conversations. And you see everybody turning around. Bitch, are you out of your mind? 
Like, <laughs> this isn't your suite. This sure. is a public space. No, this is her world. She's the her Starbucks. <laughs> Take it easy with that computer. Oh no shit! She didn't give a fuck about that he laptop. Said to finish the phone call. You said to hang up the phone call. I hung up the phone call. You said to finish oh, the phone she's call. She's being so rough with that you laptop. Said to finish the phone call and hang up the phone call. This might she might not be stable. <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking anybody that makes phone calls on speakerphone in public is unstable. You said to finish the phone call and hang up the phone call. Look at this woman here, That's not even said, looking up. I did that. <laughs> Uh huh. I did what she said. Whoa. I did what she said. Yeah. Do you think it's the first time anyone's ever told her to hang up the phone? <laughs> 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 or do you think this is something that happens every it, day every of time. her life? Every time. That bitch is like, here's your purse. That bitch goes, here, yep. take your shit and leave. Go, go, get the fuck out of here. Help you out. You know, I know Starbucks has this policy where they call Starbucks your third place. You got your home, you got your, yeah. what is it, work, and then Starbucks is your third place. I think they should really discontinue this logic. Yeah. Of like, come and hang out for hours and surf and do your fucking office work no. here and waste time. They should time. be like, you, you can come here yeah. to have a drink and take a shit. And take and that's shit. It. That's all we're here for. You know what they should do? Take away all this extra desk space and put more toilets in they should change they should say we're not your third home <laughs> but you can shit here like that that should be the story well because that's the flaw of many of starbucks is there's often just one toilet for the entire it's, it's starbucks completely it's inhumane it's not i know yeah. it's wrong we're giving you caca juice, and, caca and, we're, juice. and we're giving it to all of you yeah and we make one toilet. yes cups of bowel torture and they're like nah go shit somewhere else it's yeah. completely wrong it's completely wrong Completely. It's wrong. I know. I got a, I got a video. I got a video. I got a video. You the phone. You said finish the phone call, and, and I did what you said. Oh, look at that poor guy. No, no. Yeah, lock it up. Good, good idea, kiddo. Lock it up. Poor yeah, guy. Man, I got it on video You know, the only thing that bums uh, me out about things like this: no aftermath. Like not knowing what happened. Yeah, like what happened next? Did no. the cops come? I did wish. she come back and throw a fucking brick through the door? <laughs> like well, what happened next? As somebody that's worked, I've worked out a lot with the public. I've had many, many jobs. I've worked at Starbucks in the yeah. summer of '97. We've gone over this. '96. Mm -hmm. The point is, and and I've waitressed many times. There's like once a day. There's something like this that happens. Some person freaks out or yeah. gets crazy. Mm -hmm. The manager comes out, throws them out. They might yell back at you a few more times. They might throw something at you. Mm -hmm. And usually that's it. And by the time the cops come, they've, they're they long gone. Or maybe they get a talking to from the, the cops. Yeah. I mean, there's a guy that jerked off every day next to the retail store I worked at on Melrose. Every yeah. day. We called the cops on him every day. And he'd show up and jerk off every day. Yeah. The cops would come every... It was like... This routine. She's like a working professional, though. You know, this lady. It's scary, huh? Yeah, this is what not kind a, of job is she She's not like him? a vagrant, you know? No. no, no, no. A lot of times it's not vagrants. It can be, but just people who are just having a day. She's having a day. Who knows? She's having a drag. A day could be, like, you know, we said it could be drogas. Could be. Oh, uh, drogas. Yeah. yeah. She's off her meds. Um, by the way, it's October 9th when we record this right now. How's your uh, sober October going? Sober October, um, well, you know, sober October affects people differently and there's Oops. different challenges yeah. for different people. Yeah. Um, I mean, go, let's go through it. <laughs> well, for like, for instance, and by the way, I highly encourage anybody to take part in this in whatever capacity they want to take part in. It's just a great exercise. What do you mean? Meaning like some people go like, I just want to give up drinking for the month, but I don't want to do that. Uh, or some people go like, I'm just going to not smoke pot. Just do that. Like you, there's no set of rules. The rules are yours to make. I just think it's good sometimes in life to engage in an exercise of discipline. Right. This is your Lent, so to speak. It's, it's sort of our Lent. And it's just, it's good. It, it's like, hey man, once a year, it's something to mentally focus on. Yeah. And there's just rewards, mostly for yourself to see what you're capable of, mm -hmm. you know? So mm -hmm. for me, for instance, 
I'd be lying if I said the sobriety part was a challenge because I'm just not a big drinking drug guy. Right. I mean, I enjoy it's, them. It's not a thing for you. I enjoy it, but I enjoy it usually in mild doses. Right. You know, like right. I'll I'll sometimes go two weeks without anything without thinking or trying. You, when I was pregnant, I don't think you drank alcohol once, and that wasn't just because I wasn't no, drinking I, around you. Right? I drank. Like, I, drank I think like at fancy dinners, you yeah, and I went like to. That. I mean, on the road, honestly, um, usually I'll pick if I'm doing a three nights out, I'll have drinks maybe one night. Get ripped. No, I just. What do you drink like normally? What What's your? You're if on it's the road. at dinner. If it's at dinner and like the night's over, there's nothing, you know, it's not pre game. You're dinner. done with your work. We're done. Depends. If uh, sometimes you want, I like wine with dinner. Red or white? Usually red. Um, Pinot, Pinot Nur? Pinot Nur? Sometimes. Sometimes if it's like a steak, I'll have a cab. Sometimes mm. I'll do uh, Malbec. Sometimes I'll do, yeah, Pinot Nur. But yeah, I like wine with dinners. Um, sometimes if I'm like, Oh this, man, it's nice. This weekend's over. I'll have bourbon. Oh you know? shit, son! But I do. I'm saying it's not. It's not that frequent. You know, I just right. don't have. The, I like. I like beer with sushi. That's outstanding. Yeah. yeah. Um, beer on its own is kind of rough. The older you get, you're I just, just farty. I don't know. And then as far as getting high, I like weed. Yeah. But I like. I've discovered over life now that I just like mild doses. Yeah. I, I like being able to function and not have like paranoia mm -hmm. and for me oh, that you don't means, you don't like getting paranoid well for me <laughs> i think that i have a low tolerance like i've just i know that i do yeah so for me it's like it's not a fun endeavor if i go over the line because then i'm like i just got to get in my room and cry alone yeah, so it can, it's horrible yeah so i like a mild dose so i'm saying the challenge for me isn't that part i work out separate from sober october regularly every week i do a couple of sessions with the trainer i do some stuff at home but so far we're on the ninth here i've worked out every day mm, you're doing no days off like on no instagram no days off you bragging about that why aren't you bragging about your no days <laughs> i'm off? doing uh, so far on six of the nine days i did two workouts a day yeah so that is the for me the fun or the challenge and the part that's rewarding is to go can you actually do that can you work out every day for a month because that's a departure for me that's not something i would normally do you know right for me a busy like a heavy workout week would be definitely probably five days i'd be like holy shit i worked out five days this week i'm doing every day right now it's a lot here's the current standings go ahead now this changes and this is standings according to our point system that this app awards us um for people curious it's the my zone app it's uh attached to a heart monitor and it basically gives you points based on the percentage of your max that's basically like a cardio mm -hmm. reward as of right now as we're recording this i'm in first good for you gene ari's in second okay burnt is in third of and course. joe is in fourth now what? what's up with joe well i'll tell you this is like he's the, gonna make that shit up today he could make it up today he is annoyed <laughs> by basically the fact that i i got this thing at the gym and that's why i suggested it to these guys mm -hmm. and when you go to the gym and you see your points and you want to move up you work out to get your points well the sort of shortcut it's not really a shortcut but the thing we figured out is that well you can just get your heart rate up by doing cardio like elliptical bike ride and it's it wasn't the intent the intention originally was go work out get your points through a, a workout like right. meaning but now there's a cheat you guys yeah, well kinda... you know you still have to put in the time and you still have to get your heart rate up but it just seems like a a way to get points so he's like whatever i'm he's like you know i could smash all you guys and we were like yeah he was um you know he was like doing two hours of uh cardio when we started this he was like this is just easy like i it's not, I'm just annoyed at how much time I'm having to put in doing this. So it's a time consumer. So I think what, what, what he's going to end up doing, because we talked about it, is that he'll just go back to doing his regular workouts <laughs> and get his points that way. Mm -hmm. And then, because he basically just wants to work out like that, and we will do whatever we can to be in points. By the way, we're all very close. When I just did that order there, it's all within 
couple hundred points of each other. Well, Joe works out a lot. He normally, his yeah. normal, normal routine is five days a week. Oh my goodness. And, and I mean, of those five days, uh, I don't know, most of them are like brutal, intense I've workouts. seen it. Yeah. But he doesn't do no days off. Now that's a special kind of yeah, no. lunacy. No days off. Where people really hurt themselves. <laughs> yeah, this is this is no days off. Right I here. hate no days off. I, it's go. silly. Uh, oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. This is my last day of shooting Skyscraper here in Vancouver. It's been an incredible great experience. Team, I love this city. This I is The Rock, the by the way, this talking. Thank you so much for opening your arms his, to me, treating me like you're one of your sweet. sons. This is his uh, traveling gym. Oh, my god. This is gosh. his gym that goes what? to every set. Yeah. What are you talking One of the about? anchors that makes the experience so special is every morning at 5 a.m. I get up and I come here to my <sighs> Iron Paradise. God. This is my traveling carnival, the traveling circus. Traveling There's over 40,000 pounds of twisted steel, sex appeal, and heartache. A lot of heartache, <laughs> mainly my own. Uh -oh. Message of gratitude to the small group oh boy. who sets this gym up. Every location I go to, the next location will be Hawaii when we shoot Jungle Cruise. But this is a lot of shit to move around and set sure up. Is. Plus, I'm a pain in the ass because I'm like, the energy has got to flow this way and you can't keep your head that way. Big pain in the ass. But guys, thank you so much. It's my anchor. Plus, traveling in a gym like this eliminates all the bullshit excuses not to get the job done and get to work. Oh, so I go. thank you. The studios thank you. You guys are the best. My anchor. Much love. Thank you, guys. You know what I like? Also, a Miami graduate. Oh, oh. Yeah. You know what I like is that he's got those rhymes down yeah. that people have in the gym, like, teamwork makes a dream work, oh, or yeah. whatever. He's like, got it, yeah. Yeah, he's got his rhymes down. Yeah. Um, metal and steel keeps it real, or whatever. Yeah. Like, <laughs> That's right, he You gotta does. pump if you don't want to be a dump. Or, he's yeah. got it. He's got the rhymes. He's definitely got so, it. So for those of you who aren't watching the show on YouTube, which you really should be, because you can see the clips, you can subscribe, and you can... Watch. You can also watch us on. Uh, we stream it on. What's that shit called? Twitch. Twitch. We do a Twitch. Um, we do a Twitch now on Wednesdays. It's usually like around five. Twitch TV slash your mom's house podcast, and then a few hours later, it's on YouTube. But on the Twitch, on the Twitcher, <laughs> when you Twitch with us, you can watch it with us. We we jump we in. And jump we, in. Yes. I'm DJ Dadmouth One. I'm Queen Jeans One. Yeah. And we'll be laying in bed and. Um, and Just Blue Band it, will yeah. notify us. Oh, you're up, and then we'll come say hi. So, also, for those of you not watching, that was The Rock, and he travels with a gym. And a, it's a full gym. It's it's like a gym you would get a membership to. It's not like oh, yeah. one or two or three things. A 40,000-pound gym? How, how, yeah. I mean, that's bananas. That's his life, man. He's well, the biggest he's, movie star in the world, too. He certainly is, and he, you know... Yeah. He's also a former wrestler, right? Was he, what is yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was big time. So he's got to keep that shit up. He's completely fucking yoked. It's crazy. Yeah. That's no days off That's right there. That's no days off. Um, no days off. Wait, hold on. Bit. Before okay. I go on, I have to tell this most disgusting thing that's happened to us. Where you work out, where the elliptical machine is in our home, uh, I come to find out there's been a little friend who's living in our AC unit. Yeah, there's a... There's a separate AC. It's like a wall thing. It's a wall thing that has its own um, condenser outside of the house. And it's just for this room because the room was an add-on to the house. Yeah. So we've been smelling something, I think, for a, like a week maybe. Kind of in denial. Like, ah, oh, that's a smell. That's interesting. And then, uh, yeah, come to find that there's little droppings around the AC unit, little shreddings of stuff. Yeah, not and shit droppings. No, just like chewed up bits yeah. of air conditioning falling out of the air <laughs> of conditioning. Air conditioning. Yeah. And uh, turns out we've got a little rat. Yeah. Just eating through the wires, living. So what we did was. Pooping. Oh, cocked up every motherfucking hole. And now. Now it's fucking dead in there. And also, it <laughs> smells much worse. Well, here's the thing. And here's the cool thing. <laughs> we have to replace absolutely everything. Of course, it's a fortune. The entire unit, a of whole course. new condenser. It's really of fucking course. cool. So what you do is the joy of home ownership. So yeah, well first fucking, so I, I, I wake up at, you know, six in the morning, find that this rat is in there. First thing I do, because you're, you're not in town yet, mm -hmm. I text our rat guy, because we have a rat guy, because yeah. we live yeah. in an area where there's lots of shit. And uh, he shows up an hour later, and he and I go around with the caulking gun and just seal it up. He puts poison in the AC unit. He did. Oh, yeah. there's so much poison in there. If that thing's not dead by now, that's like a bionic rat. I mean, he just, he uh, loaded it up. I'm he broke it up into it. pieces and fucking threw it. I mean, we killed that fucker. I can't wait to see its fucking carcass, too. 
Me too. Nasty rat. It's going to be really foul by the time you see it. Thank God it's not so hot. I was kind of worried. It got was... cold. I um, think it's going to stink. Look at this. Uh, dear Tom, I tried to see if my wife was a ride or die chick. She is not. Without blinking, she said she would turn me in to protect our kids. So I Good asked, girl. what if our son committed the murder? I saw her eyes start to twitch and her brain fucking exploded. And then she said she would help cover it up. Yeah. What the fuck? She said she would still turn me in immediately, but no way in hell she would turn yes. in our son. Is your wife as terrible as mine, Jared? I think you have your answer already. She obviously, I, would. I kind of agree. I kind of. Why don't you think he would try to kill son? you? Why wouldn't he try to kill you? Because I'm his mother. It's very oh, rare. Okay. How many serial killers kill their mommies? I, I know I they know. hate their moms, but I how many? Know. Happens for sure. I, listen, th- to protect your child, I would do anything. I really would. You're an awful person. I would protect him. Awful. Both of them. Hey, hey Todd and Krista. Last <laughs> night I had a very strange dream that I met Tom in the airport. I was very excited to meet uh, my favorite comedian. I went up and said, hey, Tom, just want you to know I'm a big fan. Tom then sat down in a chair next to me and asked me to sit down in the chair beside me. He put his arm around my shoulder and simply said, go fuck yourself, buddy. Yeah, sounds about right. I quickly stood up and walked off. My question is, are you as huge a dickhead in real life, Thomas? Also, yeah. have either of you had strange dreams recently? Keep those jeans high and tight. Bird is as fat as he is racist, Austin. <laughs> I, uh, I love this new racist I, meme with so Bird. Great. It's the best. His comments are full of them, <laughs> and there's basically every other person is. What did he do? What did he say? Like they don't, they don't know. <laughs> ah, it's so fun. Um, so much fun. First of all, no, I am a sweetheart. You can ask anybody that uh, walks up to me in public anywhere. I always take time. I always uh, you are. talk. Yeah, I always do pictures. Whatever anybody wants, sign anything. Um, but I do think your dream is highly amusing <laughs> and I love that I was a shit dick to you in your dream, but in real life it wouldn't go like that. No, you wouldn't do that. No, stuff. hell no. I could see no. you being a bigger dick. Get the fuck out of here. Right? I am so nice to people when I meet them. Are you crazy? Really? I am so nice to any, if anyone goes, Hey mommy, and I'm out in public or yeah. I'm so thankful that anybody even listens to our our nonsense. Are you yeah. kidding me? All right. No, I'm never Do you have any crazy dreams lately? Without them. Yeah. You have? Well, I'll tell you one weird. I don't know if I mentioned this. The the night that Anthony Bourdain died, I dreamt about him. You told me that already. Yeah. yeah but I don't know if I told him on the show. And this is before I heard about it. I'm it's saying pretty crazy. simultaneously as he was in France, you know, and I woke up and yeah. I had just dreamt about him and my friend texted me that he had died. I was like, well, that's kind of. That's a crazy one. Why? What is this a setup for? No, no, no. That person just said they had a crazy oh, okay. dream. They asked if you had. Had I one. always have crazy dreams. That's what I'm saying. You always do. Yeah. What? I dreamt about something. I dreamt about uh, tailgating, and I woke up thinking how stupid it was that people do this thing. Yeah, I don't like tailgating. Yeah, I dreamt about that. I don't like crowds. All right. I don't <laughs> like any of that stuff. Um, one here before we got to take it. We have a guest. We have two well, guests. Hold on. Okay. We have two. Yeah. Sorry. Go yeah. ahead. There's a few topics I want to get to before okay. we break because they're very important. Uh, hello, Shitlers. I got a little <laughs> insight into the bee hole munching. My old lady always wants to eat the scrum and I always say no. Jesus. I'm not a prude and I do actually quite enjoy it, just like the gays, but couldn't figure out why I didn't want her to. So with some long, hard thought while browning, I came to the conclusion <laughs> that I respected her too much. Yeah. As my wife. Even yeah. Even though she's a dirty hoe, I don't need her to spread open the swamp for my pleasure. She has no fucking idea what she's getting into. <laughs> Thanks. I love you guys. Hmm. Isaac. Yeah. Because yeah. he respects and loves his wife and would never want to subject her to the horrors of his beehole. hole Piss on me. Beat me. Try it out. Try it out. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Is it fired? Yeah, I don't, I don't feel that way. I, um... No, you're... It's just mean. I'm not mean. I'm making a request. You, you take advantage of my uh, admiration of you. I love you. I admire you. <laughs> yeah. Like FIFO admires. So get in there. No. Get in there. Can I bring up one topic before we break very quickly? Very important, by the way. It's important? Yeah. Okay. So Tom and I are about to celebrate Asshole. our 10-year an- wedding anniversary come November 8th. That's Isn't that crazy? 10 years already. 10 años. 10 años. And... But we've been together 14 because we dated for four. That's right. And the other night you go, hey, I wonder how many farts we've had together. Mm-hmm. How many How many farts have we shared as a couple over the course of 14 years? Yeah. And I thought what an interesting topic. We should save it for the show. Clearly mm-hmm. our listeners would be very curious to know. 
But let's do the math. How many times do you, you definitely, here's your farting. I'm going to do your farting average. I'm going to calculate it. Okay. I'll pull out the calculator here. Okay. You fart every morning. Mm hmm. Every morning. And I fart every morning too. So let's rack up. That's one in the morning. Mm hmm. And then you definitely do a nighttime fart where you, oh no, you, yeah, there's a fart in bed, there's a fart when you pee. Are we are we talking about how many times have we farted in front of each other? In 14 years, right, yeah. But in front of each yes, other. Yes, that we participated in each other's yeah, farts. Yeah, I would say on let's, average. Let's go through your daily farts. Well, I would say that like on average there's probably a just woke up fart and maybe. There's a pee fart that you do. Right, so then maybe like, I would say like two in the bedroom area, <laughs> yeah, maybe in one the in the kitchen uh, and this is, are we still in the morning? Yeah, we're still in the morning. Coffee, breakfast. Yeah. yeah, you fart at breakfast. And then I would say there's a midday fart for sure. And then. Like a lunch fart if and we're then together. Two or I would say eight a day is probably the, on average. Okay, let me go through my morning. Okay. So I start in the morning. There's a morning fart when I get up. Mm -hmm. There might be a fart that slips out as I'm browning or peeing. Okay. There's definitely a fart. <laughs> if we're together, it's an after lunch fart. Yeah. Especially on this paleo diet. Yeah. And then I'm gonna go for like an in bed we're watching our Bravo show. Oh shows. yeah, you definitely don't hold back there. Yeah. I'm gonna go for like half your daily four. average. I'm at four year a day. Let's do the math on that, please. Okay. Three hundred and sixty five. But we're not together three sixty five, but we're just gonna act well, like What's average are. Okay. what what's what's a nah, three sixty? Let's say no, factory I would and road say date. I, I mean, I mean, sorry, 350, 300. 300? 300 days a year, let's say. We're, we're together. together. Okay, yeah. let's let's do that. So, okay, well, that's easy for you. So that's 1,200 farts a year for you. <laughs> and then 14 years, 16,800 farts. No. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait, hold on. I'm 1,200 a year of farts? And you, then you, what are you? You're double that. You're 2,400. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so this is yearly. You fart So this is how many times I've probably farted in front of you. <laughs> 33,600. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did you, okay, so you did 2,400 times 14? Yeah. And that's how much? 33,600. It's <laughs> a lot. And what's mine? I'm half of that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What's half of that? I 16,800. I farted in front of you approximately 16,000. <laughs> Can we redo our vows and then incorporate this knowledge? Yeah. Into our wedding vows. It's very possible. <laughs> it's a lot of farts. It's a lot of farts. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe there are couples who don't fart in front of each other? We were just talking to somebody about it. We How were just they... talking to somebody who's in a similar, I mean, two kids married. Yeah. And, and he was like, no. And I go, what? Yeah, I just hold it. And yeah. and I and he's like, I've, it's happened. <laughs> but then we asked, like, what about your wife? He's like, never, never. not once. But think of all the, f the fun you're missing out on if you're not farting in front of each other. Yeah. But maybe maybe because of that, they're eating each other's scrum or something. No, they're not. You don't know. What about burps? That's the next tally we got to go to. Yeah. But he's real decent. You can tell. No, he's, he's way more mannered. Yeah. He's real decent. Cultured. Yeah. He, he saw Hamilton. and He likes yeah. Hamilton. Uh -huh. I'll never fucking see that dumb shit. Rapping? You don't like raps? I don't want to. All right, let's go get our guest. Right? Historical our, our, rap. Our uh, first guest. Fucking boring gotta, is gotta, that. Gotta get this going. Okay, mommy. Okay. Now, joining us is somebody who, if you saw me last year on the uh, the No Teeth No Entry tour mm. <laughs> in a number of cities, this young fine young man was with me um, to a, a lot of those. You saw me. Uh, Taped a special in Denver. This young man was with me. <laughs> young man. And uh, if you saw me in New Orleans or most recently in Eugene, Boise, and Sacramento this past weekend, this was the opener who we're very happy to say will also be helping us a lot more on the podcast with some production stuff. And uh, he's just an absolutely hilarious guy. It's Josh Potter. Hey, Josh, welcome. <laughs> there you go. That she was getting fucked on the set. Such a good song. This part's redundant, by the way. If that bitch only knew that she was getting mudded by the whole damn crew. Of course, you're getting mudded by the whole damn crew. Slang dick. How you do it? Hit that shit. 
<laughs> now, it sounds like you've been really analyzing this song, John. Well, Mudded is a gangbang. What? What I learned. I didn't know I that. I didn't know that either. Yeah, it's in other songs, too. Really? Yes. <laughs> Lil Troy talks about mutton girls. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So you, <laughs> can't, you can't mutt a woman without the whole damn crew. Right. Oh. See, right. now, for those of you wondering, like, why do they have Josh around? <laughs> there you go. I mean... <laughs> That's exactly why we bring Josh. Shit's around. redundant. Now I heard Greg you say, m- "Is it mutton? Mudded? Mud? Mud? M u t e d? Oh, mutted. Oh, yeah. interesting. Another not layer. Mud, not mud and like. No, I. Like, that's what I thought too. I was like, oh, it's anal sex. <laughs> right, going with all that mud. mud. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but no. When I was in Florida as a kid, <laughs> mudding was just uh, big tires driving through the mud. Like you yeah. want to go mudding? Go mudding. <laughs> Yeah, that's also like hogging or what you know. Yeah. I'll pick up like a gross lady. <laughs> <laughs> and you go mudden. Uh, but this is so you're telling us it's mudden, mudden, mutton with mutton. T's. Go mutton with the crew. Yeah, wow. I, I now, didn't know what it was either at first. But... I want people to know um, how we met. I, I think like they're owed a little backstory. I met Josh in Buffalo, doing, Barfalo. in Barfalo, doing uh, a club week few years ago and then we did uh, a bunch of gig sense um you were on the radio there too i was and so you know a lot about these mics if you know what i mean <laughs> i know uh, how to talk in them and stuff you yeah. need to talk oh, um, he also did that's deep bro we did an episode of that's deep bro you that's can find right. that on youtube yep and on the rss right when i moved here that was like yeah. three weeks into living here oh my god how nervous were you Big time nervous. Scared to li- to live somewhere new. Scared. But now you're here and you're so thriving. So how's it been? It's been like a, has it been a year? It's been a year. A little over a year. How has your year experience been? It's been way, it went by way faster than I thought it would go. Yeah. You took the leap. A lot of I people did. don't take the leap. You took the leap. Yeah. It's been a lot of back and forth, ups and downs. That's you know? how it's supposed to the be. The whole roller coaster. Yeah. I'm not mutton. You're not mutton. We almost mutt. We almost mutted this weekend, bro. What are you talking about? That's right. That's why. That's why I go on the road. (laughs) (laughs) What's up with that sex life? Are you getting your stick wet? Not in L.A. No, not yet. Yeah. If any any seventh floor crew ladies are out there, (laughs) what's up? I I live on the first floor. I live on the first floor. (laughs) What is your Twitter handle? At J underscore Potter. Will you take or do you uh, accept nudes? Fuck yeah. Okay. (laughs) Okay. Just checking. (laughs) <laughs> I want full. I think a regular um, nude recap. I think a nude and a sex report on how your sex life. Well, going. I don't want people to think if they send me nudes that I'm going to expose them. No, of course not. No, I no. Don't mean that. So you can send me nudes and you'll have full, you know, discrepancy and mm. confidentiality. Confidentiality. That's yeah. what I was looking for. That's right. Okay. Yeah, and I don't send dick pics. That's there you nasty. Go. Why? Are you no, buying? I don't know. I do if I get requested them, but you have to send. Five first, five nudes first. Jesus, how is this going? How does people aren't worried about their dicks ending up on the internet? Like, you're not afraid, like, one day you become like a huge comedian, and they're like, Oh, here's Josh Potter's cock back in 2000. Could be part of my brand, could be part of your brand. I'm the dick guy. So, now I I was never the single guy out there on the road. Do you ever, I mean, sometimes you know, we'll we'll do our shows, we part ways, we'll be like, All right. I mean, do you ever go out there and, you know, try to hit the bar that the people may have been at? <laughs> I wish. I mean, I go. It's so weird when you're alone in a place. I don't have, like, I don't put off good vibes being alone in a bar. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really difficult to, <laughs> yeah. you know, like, who's coming up to me? So when you're in a city all alone, it gets weird. I don't know. It's I do feel like, easy. you know what, not, I mean, just thinking about it, it probably is better even though the statistically the numbers are less, probably is better. You better odds at club after a club show. Exactly, right? clubs yeah. are insurmountably easier to meet people it's, because it's you're there for and, days. Yeah, yeah. You know, and they're drinking in the lobby after. Yeah, the they're show. like you can run right into them. Right, theaters. You like you kind of. It's really. It's like it's like the gazelle are all in the lobby in the bar area. And, and if it's lion. like a Friday, you could be like, "Hey, I'm got two more tomorrow. Yeah, Come on back get a drink right. or something." You know. Oh, right. You can hit them up multiple days. So have you been, are you uh, somebody that scores on road weekends? No. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I, I mean, I'm, it's not for lack of effort. Uh, I just haven't. There are times, I mean, don't get me wrong. The only time I've ever gotten laid 
was from comedy. I didn't lose my virginity until I started doing comedy. That's hilarious. Isn't that wild? That is wild. And did you yeah. have like a killer? Like, how long ago was this, by the way? Uh, I was, was 22 when I lost my virginity. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, after the Eugene show. <laughs> <Yeah>. 40. <laughs> you were tw- you're 22, and did you have like a really good set that night? Um, no, it was, I, I had to lay the groundwork like I always do. They probably had to see multiple sets, <laughs> really get a feeling for how I was not on stage too, so... But crushing in front of a girl is like my favorite thing. No, oh, it's got to be great. That's got to be great. It is, dude. It's the best. Now, like, is it the best? What's the best? Is it the best if you kind of meet someone before and and you have a no. little? No. That's the worst. No, I'm saying, yeah. and then you blow them away. Is that, you ever had that? It depends. I mean, if you meet someone before, they have preconceived notions about you. And then That's if true. you have a set where you're talking about wild shit, they're like, ooh, you know, they might right. get kind of freaked out so by... The, the best scenario is just killer set, meet somebody. Yes, and then they come up to you afterwards, and they're like, you're really funny and stuff. So like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Tom, do, do the girl. Yeah, uh, Josh, I saw you up there, <laughs> and you're really funny. What's Especially, up? What are you doing later? What's up? <laughs> uh, nothing. Uh, my I left my panties in my car. Oh, really? Let's go see if we can find those. Oh, okay. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> no, she'd have like drunk girlfriends and stuff too. Oh, definitely. He's probably had <laughs> She's like, oh. you, have you had like the uh, the deal got fucking sidetracked by the bachelorette party. Yeah, sometimes. Well, also like Tiffany, uh, no, he's crazy. Yeah. Obviously Look at when his mustache. when you and I do shows together, it's a different vibe than like say if I did a show with a single comic, right? Whose only purpose is like I got to get laid too. Yes. Yeah. And then I'm usually the guy that has to play the defense for those friends, you know? Got he you. picks the target, mm-hmm. and then I'm the one who's, like, <laughs> taking out the bogeys, you know? <laughs> taking out the bogeys. That dude. feels like it's a skill, though, in and of itself, right? I guess so. I mean... You just have to distract them. You really just have to lower your, your own standards for yourself. Oh, my God. And Jesus. Not in terms of, like, the like how they are. Just, like, in terms of, like, not having any any sort of preconceived things going in, you know? Yeah, so you actually... What you're saying is... You will actually spend time doing speaking to someone you have no interest in speaking exactly. to. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Josh is such a sweet guy. Yeah. Like you're you're so nice that dude. That, when that's, I'm that's, out there looking on for second human. wife number two, we're, hey, gonna, we're gonna have a hey, time. We're gonna have a hey. Time. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> you think I'm you're just, gonna meet her on the road? She's probably. Gonna, gonna the be best a place. fan. That's the best place. She's gonna be like, me and my friends think you're totally hot. Me and my friends, they always say it wrong. Yeah. How would you... Me and my friends. You would have a wife number two as opposed to just having hoes in different area codes? Well, I mean, it yeah. would be Smash City for a run. Right? Wait, okay. wait. You're, no, Josh, you're asking... Uh, oh, I'm dead. I'm gone. Yes. Oh, oh. We have hoes in different areas. No, don't I'm don't saying, wife them up. No, I'm not going to wife up immediately, but I'm saying okay. it's Smash City for a while. Yeah. And then the one who's like, I'll eat your butt, I put the ring oh, on it. Oh, stop you know? it. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> don't you dare bring those hoes near my children. Is that a sticking point, don't by the way? Don't you fucking dare. What's that? You, you want it and you won't give? It's it's constant. Yeah. 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 Constant. But it's also, we just learned from an email or a listener email, it's a sign of immense disrespect to ask your spouse to eat your uh, beef. Basically, this guy was like, <laughs> yeah, my so wife gross. wants to, and I, I respect her too much. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, this animal is like... That's, I, I mean, that's true, actually. That's a good point. It's got to be tough. You're his wife, but you yeah. get to a certain point where... You're so close that it's like, ah, who cares? Yeah. Nope. Right? Not there yet. Yeah. No. You have to get to that point. But she Josh, should be eating my road. farts. That's what Josh, she should be doing. The problem is, is that I, I'm, I have intimate knowledge of his dumps and of his course. farts and what he's capable of, and I hear it every morning through the wall, and it sounds horrendous. But would you be deterred if you hadn't had that? Like, wouldn't you still not do it? If I didn't, if I didn't hear what. If comes you didn't out have of any him, of that knowledge. No, I would not do it. It's just like not a thing you would ever. It's not, it's not for me. But let's say yeah. Ryan Gosling's like, eat this booty from yeah, behind. Like oh, okay. okay. Scrum and I <laughs> floss with his fucking pubes. Yeah. So you're not really? against the act. It's I'm just kidding. I want, like, but he looks cleaner than you. No, he Ryan does. Ryan Gosling is hairless. I know. You're covered. So what in if him. he was like on all fours and he was like, hurry up? No. Like that. I, would you go over I don't there know. and reach under and do the. <laughs> <laughs> the trombone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't do that to Gosling? Gosh, I do like him so much. Now, one of the things I mean, I I love about Josh. He's a great comic. He always, I like everything about Josh. Oh, Potter. he's great. He's great. Um, but we always talking have, about you like you're not here. We always will like laugh at uh, you know, just fucked up clips, <laughs> things that 
<laughs> that we, you know, yeah. we'll show each other things, send each other videos. He's like your friend that's ground zero for all the weird shit. Yeah, that man. Get. So <laughs> yeah. I go, look, man. So, so for, for, to give people more um, uh, information, we've been working on a a transition to expand our show. Um, there's, there's. You a, said transition. I thought you were talking about your own. I am. I am transitioning <laughs> into a man, but I, I, I do think. <laughs> I like, can't wait. I grew this hair this week. Yeah, I'm, so weird. I, I'm looking more and more male every week, but. Congratulations. But thank you very much. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we're trying to expand the show. We have a studio space that we're outfitting f- to uh, to start doing the show from, hopefully, without dogs. Um, <laughs> now dogs are part of the show. But uh, she's going crazy over there. Anyway, uh, we want Josh uh, to uh, to work with us in this new space. And, I'm pumped. Yeah. Oh, so pumped. Dude. Can't wait. Yeah, and so basically... Um, I need that to stop. Can you please do something about that? Schnitzel. Hey. She's got... I know. Bitzel. Okay. She's off of it. Uh, she's going to go back. Just give it a minute. How about we just pick it up? Do, all right. All favor? right. How about please? we? You mean how about you? I'm just asking say, you. How about you pick it up? I'm asking you. That's so rude. You... All right. All right. Hold on. Yeah, I'll take off these earphones. What are you so, doing, stupids? In order to introduce you to the show, the idea was that you would... Pull some of your, pull some clips, whatever you want to, you know, introduce yeah. you to the audience. And um, I thought, why not start with something I'm very well versed in? Mm-hmm. Pornography. Okay. Um, here's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. All I know is that I have four files. Okay. Uh, these are separated into four files for us to. Four genres. Four genres. Oh, okay. God. Um, I'll let you direct. I haven't seen anything. I, I, I just knew that like we're going to introduce Josh to the audience. Josh is going to introduce clips to us. Is there anything I can should I should I just play them at random? Um, not at random. Maybe in order. In the order that they're so the first one I see is Die Die. Should I do that? <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, we can start there. Because I mean, here's the thing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe you don't remember this because you're married now and yeah. you got you got to do all your business calls, but. Most of the day, I am in a hotel room, <laughs> and this isn't stuff that I jizz to necessarily. <laughs> right. But when you jizz, you have a lot of time after that to kill, and there's so much stuff. These websites are like Target. Well, I think it's one of the most interesting things is like there's there's stuff that you like, and then there's the the curious stuff. Yes. Stuff that makes you go like, is that really a thing? Right, exactly. And all these sites, they put them there for you. Like I said, they're like Target. You go in, get in what you need, and you come out with a whole bunch of other shit that you didn't even know existed. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> all right. So I will start. I'll play this. I have a feeling that a lot of this is going to be blurred out. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, this one is uh, pretty <laughs> self-explanatory. Okay, let's see what it says. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Josh Potter. It says like Target. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to pee, Daddy. Oh, no. That accent sounds familiar, by the way. <laughs> oh, boy. And then she does. See? <laughs> What's this over here? That's a, That looks like a binky, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not familiar with uh, baby toys, but I okay. think she, that's what she's using it for. Yeah, so, so in case you didn't know that she was going, uh, yeah. here she is showing you b- a better angle now, to know that she is um, definitely going. <laughs> Hundred. This isn't just uh, oh boy. pomp oh and boy. circumstance. So for people not watching the show on YouTube, yeah. there's a pretty attractive blonde chick, mm, and she's wearing rub it in there. <laughs> she's <laughs> wearing a diaper, <laughs> and she just peed in the dye dye, and she's showing us like she's yes, making I'm, sure you know. But then yeah. she also rubbed her her anus specifically. Well, she's getting the the pee <laughs> all around there, yeah. Okay. So, and that's important. And in case you really didn't know. <laughs> Uh-huh. In case you really needed like definitive proof that she really, I don't know, I don't she, know if I believe that she. Right, believed. it could all be acting. <laughs> yeah, and I don't like acting stuff. Right. I want the real P thing. P acting. Oh, oh, oh! Uh, really uh. wet diaper. Oh, yeah, it is. oh, that accent is very familiar to me. It sounds Ugh. like my old stepmom. Doesn't it sound like her? Yeah, yeah, it does. A very vet diaper. <laughs> do you think? Do you think she would do that? Oh, do you think she would do that? My ex stepmom. Yeah. No, I would. How much money do you think that? <laughs> I don't know. Which makes. I don't understand why every girl doesn't have an yeah. Instagram account for their feet, by the way. That's something. Easy that, money. Easy yes. money. Get that money. <laughs> 
Do you think they get money just for no, not just for posting them, but you yeah, they, sure you really? get the you build the followers. It's like any oh, and other then start Instagram selling. Account. Then start yeah, selling. then you put like a bottle of Tide next to your feet or something. Product placement. Bottle of Tide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whatever they whatever's selling ads out there for. That's Instagram. right. Like so, then Ford's like, hey, we yeah. uh, we, got, <laughs> we got a new F one fifty. Will you put your feet on the steering wheel? Yeah. She's like, yeah, of course. Hey guys, you want to come and afford? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think you're right, Josh. I think every woman should have a feed account. A pissing in the diaper account. I don't know. I think the it's a big leap. And yeah, farting. <laughs> and you gotta, farting. You got to really jump to peeing in the diaper account. Yeah, that's uh, more than feet. I mean, hey, if well, you can do it, do it. But yeah, if you can do it, I would do farting and peeing in the diaper. Easy. Yeah. No problem. Easy, easy following. Easy there were some things in between those. I would love Josh if you were a hot chick and see the stuff you would pull off <laughs> with, with your knowledge. Oh, now, yeah. Um. Yeah, so that now, are, just out of curiosity, are you into pee? You, I you, am not into pee. This is this that the thing that's weird about that <laughs> yeah. is that they're appropriating pedophilia. Yeah. Oh. You know? Oh. Right. Oh, right. It was like I went potty. I, I went. I died. I died. Yeah. Daddy. It's good yeah. point. That's so it's gross. weird, right? And yeah. the only thing more evil than pedophilia is the N word. Oh. Okay. Okay. Good is that segue. What I'm pulling up here. <laughs> I might be. Is that next? <laughs> uh, there's no oh, video. No. That's okay. Okay. There's probably a reason for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay. Oh, dear. Mm. So I have a funny question to ask you guys. Uh, Is it cool if I say the N-word? It turns me on. Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. you can say the N-word. I'm your nigga all day. Because <laughs> <laughs> I love nigger dick. Oh. oh okay. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's she doing, Tom? <laughs> She's I, showing her love. I just see audio files. Yeah, there, there's a lot of uh, loving going on in those uh, and her videos. Go oh, fry. Give me your nigga cock. Oh, oh wow. Jeez. Um, now, my favorite thing, by the way. This is a genre? It's a genre. There are two <laughs> facets it's of crazy. it. crazy. There are the women who enjoy saying it, <laughs> and then there are the men who enjoy getting the women to say it. Oh. Oh, fascinating. Yeah. So so there's basically the reluctant woman. Yes. This woman, that's why she's like, I have Do a you funny mind? question. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I have. That is a funny one. Yeah, funny, isn't it? <laughs> silly question. <laughs> Most hilarious question I've ever heard. Do I love fucking niggers? <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Oh, Whoa. So what category Wait. is she? <laughs> she's she's the one who loves them and loves saying it. Uh-huh. That's what turns her on is saying that word. Uh-huh. That's what we've done to the word. We've made it so evil that it's now so taboo that it's turning people on to say Yeah, how is this God. a whole genre? Like, I wonder how many people really are into that one. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Who do you probably... think? What's bigger demogra- bigger audience? The pissing and the die die or the N word saying? Probably pissing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. You're the expert, Josh. Yeah, sure. What's that? Do you think? <laughs> it's a brand of. Is that something tea. 50 Cent makes? <laughs> oh my God. She has an accent. Is she foreign? No, I think it's like that accent is like Jersey, isn't just it? Slut. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, <gasps> just whore. <laughs> <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, shit. Mm. How nasty. <laughs> mm, I just love nigger juice. Jesus, wow. man. <laughs> Jesus. Some dark shit. That's pretty funny. Is it cool if I say the N word? <laughs> <laughs> she, <laughs> she, uh, Is that cool? If I said that, 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 word? that dumb, like, yeah. that I didn't really read a lot growing up oh, pronunciation yeah. of words where she says uh is it cool if i say the n word like that that n well, word in her defense you can't see her in that moment she is skewered so <laughs> 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 there isn't wow. uh wow just one fella there there's a couple of them oh really yeah so she's a pretty uh, bold to ask such a question I think it was probably moment. cleared before they recorded. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fun part, though, yeah. is when you don't know. You yeah, know? yeah. Right. I have a funny question. I have a silly, <laughs> silly funny question. Frivolous to ask. thing to know. There are some that are like God. 
that are just like you're an N word, and then they're like, oh shit, you know, like they get, <laughs> met, and then they, but it's ultimate reparations because then they punish the girl for saying oh. it. That's also the the uh, fun of the video. Right? Yes, gotcha. That's, wow, wow, there's yeah. so much shit on there. Really that. nasty. Yeah. You nasty. Yeah, nasty. Um, she talks just like your dumb girl impression. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. She's like, as I have a I... funny question. <laughs> is it cool if I say an word? <laughs> the an word. That's and then a... you have to go up on every the an word. Was that a fun one to you or no? I smile. <laughs> you smile. Ear to ear when I come across those for sure. What's this here? Not because of them saying the n word. No, it's, it's just more... special. Do you know what I'm seeing here? Uh, uh, oh, yes. This is uh, a oh gentleman who is a real... You know these people that go around to homes and... So, so what happened, by the way, is Blue Band, care of, uh, Blue Band prepped these <laughs> so that he didn't have to blur them afterwards, because this is <laughs> all I have in this is just this single screenshot. Well, that's this one was pretty rough, according to his, him. Uh, so... <laughs> Um, <laughs> According to him, you know there are angels in this world who go home to home. They're caretakers. They take care of people who are uh, in need. Uh -huh. This gentleman takes it to another level, as you can see. What are he's we servicing saying? a woman who is uh, disabled? clearly disabled, very disabled, extraordinarily disabled, I would say. <laughs> and uh, he is just—I mean. If you got to see this video, yeah. you wouldn't know. It would be like he was servicing a a, a supermodel the way he is, his vim and vigor, <laughs> you know? Yeah, he so is, he really gets in there. Yes, which huh. is just pure, I mean, his heart must be so big. Right. I wish we had some audio from this. So is it? Um, <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine. There's really not much dialogue happening. And she's... I mean, she's. It's obviously like a an advanced chair that she uses. It is some wild apparatus <laughs> that is difficult to understand how it exactly operates. Being a layman, and but she's in, incapable of movement. Incapable of uh, her her lower body movement. Yeah. Wow. Wait. So do you think she? I don't know. Does her vagine? It works. Work. I, I, think I mean, she's, she's feel feeling it. something. I'm hoping yeah. that she's feeling that. Because does she make noises? Yes. That are. <laughs> conducive to <laughs> enjoying something like that yes hmm. i'm surprised you didn't have any video i thought there would be a little I thought bit so too but it is a wow. tough go so you're saying that this is so cray cray that blue band he didn't put this, anything in here this Just is all that we could clear okay that's all he cleared he told me it's a bit rough <laughs> <laughs> wow and that guy sees everything <laughs> on this show <laughs> So is this, by the way, in your <laughs> searches, mm -hmm. did this all, did, was this a genre? Did you find it was a... I mean, people, there are so many different varieties of disabled porn. Really? really? There are people with limbs missing yep. and my life. things like that. Like the ones with the limbs missing, they, I think they really found their lane mm -hmm. because a lot of them use tools that they then screw on to their stumps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For lack of a better word for it, and then they can have sex better with these tools, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, if you will. <coughs> but yeah, there are all sorts, Jeez. and I think those people. If you have a fetish for disabled people, yeah, you shouldn't be looked at as a monster. You should be looked at as a hero. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Because who else is yeah. sexing those people up, right? For sure. Would you do it? Mm, I don't think I have the boner stamina. To uh, maintain something like that, not like that superhero that we just saw. That guy was real, full bore. Yeah, he was. God yeah. bless him. Could you do it, Tommy? I don't know. I really don't know. I haven't been put into that scenario. I wonder if women feel that way when they sleep with me. They're like, "Oh, he's a blind man. <laughs> We're sleeping sure. with a blind boy." Yeah. For people who don't know, Josh has very poor vision. Yes, I'm sure they can see. Well, I don't know. <laughs> you can't hear that I'm blind, but yes, no. Uh, I always wondered that if the women feel like they're doing a service when they sleep with me does it know? bother you to no. you no let the whatever they need to get through it you know? i mean i've had the same thoughts so <laughs> with <For> me, me? <laughs> yeah it's charity work i'm like i'll take the mercy i'm a I don't saint care. yeah hell yeah but um, for people listening josh isn't isn't totally blind we're no. not saying that so explain no. your because he has to be able to see these clips these wonderful clips yeah. that he's bringing yeah i can to be see clear he can right there yeah yeah. But but also to be clear, he's well on his way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not flying a jet anytime soon. No. Okay. Um. So, 
That leaves us with one last clip. Mm. Um, was is this the save the best for last kind of scenario? I think so. I thought that one was going to be last. To okay. be honest with you. Oh my gosh. Well, this is the this is all I have. I have a couple clips here. But... Uh, the end one is the end one's a pretty big. Which one. one is the most wild to you so far? <laughs> the diaper stuff. I'm like, all right. I, I think the N word stuff is just bizarre to me. Like, yeah. I get it. It's a I get mental. Why sex thing like yeah. it's mental stimulation it's weird right yeah like, and i get that it's taboo so maybe that's why there's some but i guess it's connected to hate <laughs> or, or i don't know yeah i don't know I, I don't know what the connection is their dad clearly didn't love n-words i think yeah, yeah. the p i get because it's all and the the infantilism or whatever it's called, it, you I get g- that one? That's I the one I d- least understand. Well, you know why? Because I change diapers every day. And I, I maybe there's some connection to your mom or your dad lovingly taking care of you as you uh, as you were, if you were a baby. So maybe they want to be cared for like they're small babies or something. I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I think the P one, I just kind of go like, nah. Piss, the, yeah. the disabled one makes me think like, well, actually, you know, everybody wants some loving. So, yeah. right? You go like, Everyone needs some. It's impressive. That the guy can do it. Like, yes. Because yeah. I, I saw an interview with a porn guy once, and they asked him something. They weren't asking about this, but they're like, what happens if like you, uh, I don't know, don't like the girl or something? Something like that. And he was like, oh, I always uh, try to think about something else to get me through the the scene. Like, I see. So, so they're a different place. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, but but to be able to do that, I don't want to know that Santa's not real in this case. And I, I like to hope that yeah. one's homemade and that guy's just a hero that He's goes around the community. <laughs> the N word one. The thing about that is that you know it's very taboo, mm-hmm. which maybe for everyone in that room adds to the excitement of yes. the situation. Like makes the adrenaline kind of pump. Sure. I feel like if I was the white camera guy, I'd be like. <laughs> like, you need to chill the know. fuck out <laughs> to that girl. <laughs> Be like, uh uh-uh. uh. Because, like I said, some of it is, because obviously this is a white woman, some of it is the African American gentleman telling her, I want you to say that. Oh, right, right. And then, but my favorite is when she is like, out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, like, hey, can I? Mm? That one asked. Some right. of them Sometimes don't they, do that. They just, oh, that, now that's interesting. The ones that don't pretty, ask. And, that's then, they, and then they're risky. all like, what the fuck? You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What did you then, say? <laughs> but then they deliver a punishment. Yeah, then a it's fitting uh, punishment. Yeah, then they make it. Yeah. yeah. This last one, I think, is just fun. Oh, oh okay. okay. Let's yeah, this one's Let's see what fun. happens here. This is the last one here. It's everyone's scariest uh, <laughs> scenario. U.S. military forces are are on their way, from what I understand, and um, we plant our seed in the belly of the infidels, the way Allah will grow within. So this is like, this is this is 9/11 porn, baby. Wow, that is supposed to be Osama bin Seems Laden. Like time is running out for Osama bin Laden. So for people who don't, they can't see. Um, right, <clears throat> there it's like a Osama, you know, look alike. And another guy in a seated cave. in a cave, <laughs> delivering one of those, you know, anti-American <sighs> message. Like, look. And videos. the production is great on it because it's all grainy. It yeah. looks yeah. like they did it in a webcam that it they does. have in the. Yeah. And then Veronica Kane <laughs> is live from Afghanistan. I can't they... believe she got that assignment. <laughs> it's so crazy. <laughs> the blonde. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect one to send over. Yeah. So she's reporting back about it. Um, and soon. He'll fall into the hands of the Northern Alliance and the Special Forces. Mm, I don't think so, Veronica. So, Uh-oh. so Veronica says that, uh, or she's just reporting on this live story. Yeah, she's just in Afghanistan, and just yeah, covering the news. Well, covering the hunt for all Osama. These news female newscasters have long hooker nails. And I'll tell you right now, long blonde hair. I'm going to ask you for the link to this one. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? Let's see. Uh, oh, they, they got, got, they got her. her. Oh, no. First <laughs> Daniel Pearl, now her. Oh. Oh, Bin Laden's touching our woman's boobs. Yeah. Uh-oh. I like how they speak. I wonder if that's actual. Uh, oh, we cut out three quarters of the. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? A whole bunch of stuff. I I wonder if this is the are they punishing language. her? They are. They've captured her. They're torturing her for answers, most likely. Um, um, I can, do you I think can, that's the yeah, real? Way? <laughs> I, that wasn't really blurred out well. <laughs> <laughs> He 
covered three quarters of the screen and left just a vagina and a dildo going in. Oh, wow. Do you think that was the proper translations Oops. for the language? I think so. Oh, I think I'm they sure. were like, we're looking for authentic <laughs> yeah. speakers. Must speak yeah. Arabic. That's true. It did sound just like mahala hala hala hala. <laughs> mahala hala hala. Wow. I wonder wow. if they let Veronica go after that. I don't know. I, I mean, what's worse, getting beheaded by them or... Ooh, that's that, a good point. That's them all spinning on her. Oh, wow. my God. That's the torture. Who got off better, though? <laughs> right? Man. Now that's got to be a fun scene to shoot. You know? Huh? That one. Oh, yeah. Really fun. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd rather get John McCain than... John McCain? You'd rather be like John McC- like uh I, I think you know I, mean? I didn't check the like POW. I'll have to double in that. And, yeah, get captured by the VC. Oh, and they torture the shit out of him. Put into a they cave. Him. Then seriously then be raped by a bunch of terrorists like that. Mm. I don't yeah. know which one I would prefer. Yeah, well, you want you bamboo prefer? under your fingernails? But here or okay, you how about want this? their dicks in you. Yeah, I don't want here, their dicks in me. But here okay, how about this scenario? Would yeah. you rather <laughs> You're going to be with the VC, mm-hmm. and they're going to beat the fuck out of you. Sure. Break your arm, fuck up your shoulder, break your ribs, knock you out a few times, and keep you for a year, and then you're freed. Mm-hmm. Or three guys spit on you, stick dicks and dildos in you. Hold on. <laughs> but then they let you go when they're done. One instance? Yeah. How often are you getting beaten? You're getting beaten huh. once w- every. Like, like, you get some form of beating every week. Okay, but this is easy. I would one. take the dicks from the Arabs. Yeah, for really? sure. Hundred percent. Over a year of beatdowns. Yeah, you get to I, leave after. Yeah, but I feel like I'd be more traumatized from the sexual. Really? Yeah. Mm. I just. Man, I need to rough you up a little bit. <laughs> 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 what would you take? The dicks. Oh, the dicks. Yeah. Hell dicks yeah. in one day. A beat down every week for a year where they yes, break shit on you every time. Because at least that I'll be like, yeah, I'm just getting beaten today. It's a year. But the vi- I think, so, but then I, I wouldn't be able to be intimate with somebody after something like that. Yeah, you would just go to therapy. Nah, that's that's, that's uh, cool. well, like how long is their dildo session on? Oh, you? it's like three and a half hours. Oh fuck! I could do it. Yeah, they yeah, spit in your it. face. I can't do it. You know, they, they call you an dicks. infidel. Yeah, yeah. And then they go. This is like this is a, a message from Allah, uh, and they like unloading you. <laughs> well, you really into this one? Uh, yeah. Like the three be... of them. Okay, here's the the bad part. The three of them, they want to empty them their balls oh. multiple times. But here's See, the thing: you, like what if they emptied their balls and then they like liked America afterwards? Yeah, you do your like, country. You're a saying service. that I can single handedly stop the conflict in the Middle yes. East if yes. I sacrifice myself. Yes. yes, they're like, oh, blonde haired woman, and then they're like, oh, America's pretty dope, actually. Yeah. And then, uh, yes, okay, I would sacrifice myself for America. Yes. Okay, oh, wow. I would, I would. The I would. greater good. I would, for the great, yes. I didn't realize you had I that would. in you. I, <laughs> I would. Would you? Oh, you take it for fun anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> for Saturday that, night that for sounded, you two animals. That sounded fun. Hell yeah. God, look at you two pigs. They're just spitting on me, and they're like, I'm mad at for them. I'm like, yeah, what's up, man? <laughs> be like, I have a funny question. <laughs> now, what would be worse? <laughs> <laughs> what would be worse? Do you think it would be worse that if all those guys um, empty their, themselves in you rectally? I have a good one, too. Or, okay. da- or in the throat. Oof! Damn, you're I would nasty. prefer rectally, probably. So would I. Yeah. Because Rectum. you can fart all that shit out of you, <laughs> right? You can basically shit jizz out of you. You can't get it out of your gut. I have to check with a doctor friend of mine, but I think you're correct. <laughs> I, I, Wait, but here's the thing: they can give you like I say the N word. <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing, though: they can give you like butt herpes and stuff. Do you know what I mean? They like, definitely you can get could. So many STDs. Still better than mouth herpes? Yeah, I would Probably. rather get the in my butt than in my mouth. Right. What about yeah. you? Yeah. Mm. So I have a funny question to ask you guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I would rather have butt herpes than mouth herpes. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Because at yeah. least you can kind of hide it from peeps. You can really hide it, not kind of <laughs> yeah. hide it. <laughs> That's probably the best place to have yeah. herpes is your butt. I don't know. Is it? Uh, I mean, uh, as a, if you had yeah, to have herpes yeah, anywhere, to... where would you where would you prefer? A doctor, a doctor friend uh, <laughs> told me that you know he treats all this stuff, mm-hmm. and he said that... Um, a lot of times guys are embarrassed or just ignore of course all this stuff and will wait until it is like a raging full inflammation yes 
Of course, he sent guys me are disgusting. Is, what do so they ignore? Uh, genital warts so, yes. and things like that. All the that. signs. Like, what are they like? Oh, there's a wart on my dick, but that's gonna go away. By the yeah. time they get, they by the time that he sees them, it is completely covered. There's a stench. Mm. It's like it looks like, it looks like, um, like, like a uh, feature film. FX, like for you know an alien Mm-mm. on their dick, and, and then they're off. like, "Is this something?" And then they go to him like, "This feels like this yeah. should be looked See, at." See, this is why girls need to wear. You need to not have sex with dirty dudes. Yeah. My, I, uh, I did my fantasy football draft a couple weeks ago. I know you like would you rather's. I've mm-hmm. got one my, too. For my, this. Yeah. my uh, high school friend posed one to me that I thought was go very interesting. It. I think you'd particularly enjoy this one. Uh-oh. Uh oh. okay. So I'll pose it to you. If you had to. Sleep with Tom, mm-hmm. but it was your father's brain in Tom. Next, whatever the other one is. Well, then it would be Tom's brain in your father's body. Oh, then that, oh gosh. At least I could close my eyes. Tom's brain in my dad's body, unfortunately. Ugh. Yeah, and because it would still be eyes. him inside of right. the vessel Shell, that and I would, is. Yes, and I would, I would just block out the vessel and just think of Tom. People would think you were crazy. Some people don't choose that one. Isn't that weird? What? That's yeah. fucked up, right? That's fucked Wait, up. what would you guys choose? Yeah, I, I would try to... I would choose the vehicle over the brain. Yeah. Oh, you would choose the no, vehicle? No, no, no. I would the, choose the, the, brain the, over the, vessel. the brain over the vessel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What about you? I think you have to choose the, the brain. Yeah, but that's your mom. Exactly. And, and I, I know, talk like horrible. and I talk like his mom. I'm like, oi, Tommy. Yeah, but you'd have to... You'd have <laughs> to I'm about to come, Tom. No, because you have to start talking. You'd have to keep reassuring me like, don't worry that it's these boys... <laughs> It's me. <laughs> yeah, it's me. Christina. It's Christina. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, shut up. I will lick does your it, scrum. Does it help if I keep talking? <laughs> no. Fuck. Uh, that is fucked up, Potter. Oh, Sorry. You're not so hard, are you, today? <laughs> damn it, Mom. Okay, uh. I have one. Apropos oh, our, our porn yeah. discussion. Yeah. Okay, both of you guys. Would you rather do the porno Middle Eastern thing that we just saw? Mm-hmm. You're just an actor. You're the girl. Okay. Okay. And all those guys fucking jail on you. And it's just like a work day. Yeah. Or you do the N-word scenario thing. You're the girl, but you're doing it in real life. Like you're with two black dudes and you're a blonde girl. And it's real life. And you're like, excuse me, I have a funny question. And you just kind of roll the dice and well, see there's what layers happens. to that one. Because yeah. I think a pretty girl could get away with doing that in real life. I don't life. know. I, I really know. do. They would be like, oh, you want, you're going to say some shit, huh? And then take care of it the same way. I feel like it wouldn't be very different than the porno scenario. Really? Mm. Right? Am so I wrong? Really? If, would a, uh, well, let's switch it. Let's turn the tables. You're a white guy with a black girl. Okay. And mm. you're like, yeah, that excuse me, <laughs> I have a question for you. Yeah. Do you mind if I call you the N-word? Here's the thing, though, because this, this, this applies to every time the scenario is brought up, what type of person are we dealing with? Because if you're ta- talking about this is a straight up animalistic sex act, like there's nothing there, right, but this right. is a okay, sex okay. thing. I see what you're I saying. I think you can get away with a lot more crazy. But if you're talking about like, I went on a date, okay, yeah, 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 bought yeah, yeah. her dinner, and we're like, yes. I go, I got a silly little question yes. to ask you. Yeah, I don't think that would fly. So, so I'm weird. Uh, <laughs> do you think, uh, <laughs> I know this might turn you off, <laughs> I a usually keep this one for third date. But. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a scenario. It's this nice girl. You take everything, no. but your kink is you want to call her that, and you got to ask. Man, if it's really your kink, I mean, it's pro. It's a bad one to volunteer. I think you what you would do is you'd probably you try to find a way there. You'd have to with uh without being. You can't just like out of the gate say it. <laughs> yeah, you, you got to start like playing music and get her take. You know, uh-huh. maybe you watch something that <laughs> what do you, sure, you watch some out. W. Kamal Bell show and be like, what do you think about all this? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you stand? Where do you stand? She's like, I mean, it's cool. And you're like, cool. Cool. Like, cool. <laughs> are you like an activist? Cool. Or? So so what you're telling me is you you what would you rather do? The porno Middle Eastern thing. You're the girl mm-hmm. or a real life. You well, need to ask this chick if you can say the answer. It'd be terribly. Um, You've got one day. It could be there's ter- no finessing this. I know. There's, it, it'd be terribly embarrassing for it to go wrong. Obviously. Yeah, it'd be horrible. It'd be horrible. But, you're but not- even that <laughs> yeah. shame is not as bad as being spit on and filled up by like in a porno world. A bunch of terror. This is just your job. Now, this is just your. In the other scenario, the Middle Eastern scenario, you're quite literally just like the actress that day. So it's I get your paid. Gig. You get paid fifty whole dollars. So you get paid to do the. 
the porno version of that what you saw. Uh-huh. You're or, just that girl. That's your life. Or in real day. life, you take the girl out and ask her. Correct. Uh, I I think I would still take the real girl, and and <laughs> and risk being humiliated. I would take the payday. <laughs> Fifty bucks, huh? <laughs> Fifty bucks. That's it. Uh, I, okay. Maybe, okay. I, 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 now you're making me think about let's it. Let's price but. it realistically. What do you think a girl gets for that? If it's that, fifteen hundred bucks, I'd take it. Take it. <laughs> yeah, it's like fifteen hundred bucks. <laughs> Fair. Sign me up. Deal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would take the real life scenario and risk I, just because I don't want to be in so a. You'd be porno like on this band. date with this nice guy, and then yeah. Like, hey, I gotta ask you a silly question. Can I ask you a silly question? <laughs> See, I think a lot of guys would be, would tolerate it. More. I think it would fare better for yeah, you than girls, it would for us. Girls get away with we could we could talk some shit. We could yeah. say some crazy shit. Yeah. Yeah. You could be like, can I? Can I call your dad fag? And he'd be like, all right. <laughs> he might think it's, he might be, Can think we call it's kind of hot, him? you know? Yeah. Yeah. Guys think everything is And hot. also, yeah. you know what problem. happens to a guy so who gross. hears a woman, like if you go on a date and ask a guy, can I ask you a silly question? Can I call you the N word? <laughs> no matter this what guy, comes after, yeah. Like, unless he is real, like his whole life is doing the right thing. <laughs> and I, he he's going to be like, this bitch is going to be the freakiest of all time. Right. Like, just for asking me that, she's going to be such an animal yeah. that probably most, I think, would be like, yeah, sure. And then they might even take a thrill in, like you were saying, those things where like they, they just then punish you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, now, saying it deal. as a guy to a, a, a woman, that brings up an interesting... Different scenario. Dynamic. I might have to look up that kind of see if that porn exists. <laughs> yeah, that would be a totally different dynamic, though. Totally, totally different. different, unbelievably different, scary yeah. dynamic. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to fucking do that. Now, what if uh, what if you went out with an African American woman and then she asked you to do that? I would, I would do it, but I would be hesitant. Still, it would take a lot. I'd have to maybe have a few glasses of wine. You know? <laughs> no, it's so <laughs> loosen like, me up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I could. I'd be like, and she's like, louder, louder, you bitch. <laughs> I want the neighbors. Like, yeah, I'm like, uh. <laughs> I don't think I'd have that alpha in me no. to be able to do that. Whew. Yeah, well, that's uh, good stuff. Thanks, Josh. Thanks. Wow, really good work, Josh. <laughs> I mean, that's why Whew, that that's was why disturbing. We bring you around. Yeah. That was um, really troubling. You ready? A speaking. Of, ready for lunch? Yep. Let's go eat. Let's go have some lunch, and uh, we'll be back with another guest. Oh my god! All right. So now f- the the finally the uh, the moment of truth here. This has been in the works for a while. We've had to reschedule, but now it's official. Um, I'm super excited to bring in a great comic, an LA native. All right, Felipe Esparza. Hey. hey. Hey, what's up, fool? What's up, fool? <laughs> this is um, this is pretty crazy. Is because that cool? You pull from the uh, if you pull here, from, right? from the stem as as we learned. That? Is that better? Yeah, it's good. All right. Yeah, I'm good right here. There you right. go. Sure. Um, it's pretty crazy, dude. Like one of the things I, I respect the most about you is, I mean, you know, every comic obviously respect, but like your ride has to be. It's like a, it's really a fairy tale. It's a miracle. Do you ever stop and go like, holy shit? Because like to go from, you're from Boyle Heights. Yes. Like for people that don't know, tell it like, tell them where Boyle Heights is. Boyle Heights is like the, um, when you, when you pass, when you leave downtown and you go east mm-hmm. and you see the first neighborhood, that's Boyle Heights. That's Boyle Heights, yeah. And then once you get to like a street called Indiana, that's where East LA begins. Okay. So Boyle Heights, though, is a rough neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. But I grew up in like in the in a section where most of the housing projects were mm-hmm. in Boyle Heights. Yeah. Because there's, there's projects where it's kind of like Estrada Courts, Pico Gardens, Aliso Village, and Grando Vista. Yeah. And then all these ones where, um, I guess, hazard yeah. projects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hazard projects. Yeah. Um, I actually, if you see my special uh, Mostly Stories, it opens with a sequence shot around LA and we went to the hazard projects non-permitted to shoot this part <laughs> dude these guys like found us and basically were cool to us but they were at first they're like what the fuck are you doing here cuz we were just with a camera crew oh yeah shooting all that footage you know and then mm-hmm. you can see some of them cuz I'm standing on that bridge that like the overpass yeah um over there but i'm saying like it's crazy like when you look back to where you came from, like, do you ever go like, Ho- holy shit, how far you made it? You I mean it's it's amazing? Yeah, I, I say like, damn, 
like when I go visit, like I don't go, go visit too much, but like um, Homeboy Industries. Yeah, yeah. Every yeah. once in a while, when I would go there a lot, I would drop by sometimes just say hello to Father Greg, and I would see like someone I grew up with. Yep. Who got locked up when I was a kid and he's barely coming out. Wow. And for people and that don't like know, old man. Homeboy Industries it was started as like a an outreach program to give you know gang jobs. bangers and stuff jobs and, and um, tattoo removal. It's pretty wild, man. And mm-hmm. you come from that. I mean, wait, if if I would have told Felipe at you know thirteen that you'd have the life you have now, you'd probably be like, "What the fuck?" I don't ever believe that, man. Yeah, Cause I started going like acting like a fool when I was older, though, like nineteen. Really? Yeah, because I really liked school. Mm-hmm. But when I got out of school, I was bored. I so you to... you enjoyed school, yeah. And you uh, did did were you into comedy when you were that age or no? Like well, when you were in high school, a couple of friends of mine. We were when we were walking home, we saw li- these two guys like smoking a lot of weed, smoking weed, and yeah. and they were listening to Eddie Murphy Delirious. Yeah, oh, it's the, the best. best. Like with a ghetto blaster, like yeah. just chilling, smoking weed. Mm-hmm. And when we stood behind them till they kicked us out. Really. Yeah, but that's when the first time I saw I heard someone do stand up comedy. But what about you trying it for the? Where did where did you try it first? At the um, Natural Fudge Comedy Theater, on Fountain. It was like um, it was coffee house. They did comedy on Mondays with punk rock music. So a punk rock band would perform, and while the, the next band is setting up, a stand up comedian would go up and do like an open mic. Yeah, and I met um, Jamie Kennedy there. Yeah, and. Um, Alonzo Bowden. Yeah. Oh. And were those guys like encouraging? Were they telling you? Well, they were, uh, I, I, they were like, um, they've been doing it for a while, but I was straight up new. Yeah. I didn't know, man. I was, I was dressed like Fossey Bear. <laughs> I, was wearing, I was wearing the coat like in the 80s with a patch. Uh, <laughs> that's how I like, knew. Uh, that's what yeah. you thought of stand up comedy. That's what you thought of stand up for, yeah. When I saw stand up comedy, I just think that everybody dressed like Mark Pitta. Yeah. Oh, right, 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 dude. <laughs> you know what I'm talking yes, about? Yes, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I know that guy. And then you go, he has yeah. good bits. Yeah. You know, Northern like, California guy. Northern California. Yeah. He's a radio yeah. guy out there. That's hilarious. That's funny. So I was my first time. And, oh, and I didn't have a tie, so I, I found a bolo. A bolo tie. You wore a yeah. bolo? I'm looking like Red, Johnny Redcorn from King of the Hill. <laughs> dude. And I, and I was bald. What? Yeah, because I, um, I, I just came out of rehab. So my hair was always bald like a gangster. Yeah. So it's completely bald and I'm doing stand-up comedy like Uncle Fester. Oh my gosh. Dude. Have you ever heard of, by the way, a thing called Cholo Goth? Yeah, prayers, right? Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so stoked. You know. He just married she just, he just married Kat Kat Von D. D. They're gonna have a baby. Like any He has a restaurant in San Diego. Yes, I know. Yeah. I'm a huge fan. I someone I was a goth girl growing up. Oh wow. And, and as you know, I mean really goth. Like hardcore. Bro. But see, goth girls is a cousin of the chola look. It's very similar. Yeah. We like dark penciled eyebrows, red lips, pale skin. So I hung out with a lot of chola girls growing up. I feel like immigrants, first. Latino immigrants are into goth too. Yeah, yeah. and Morrissey. They love and Morrissey. Uh, Morrissey. And so oldies. Fucking oldies, bro. Homie. A lot of oldies, man. Like, and, and I saw this <laughs> video of they had this goth walk. Yeah. A bunch of little Mexican dudes in Mexico. <laughs> so rad. Yeah. The first time I saw a goth girl, I didn't know. She came in too all gothy, I mean, making her words. So she was dressed in black. Yeah. And I, and I asked her, like, trying to be funny. Like, it's eighth grade. Hey, what happened, man? Who died? <laughs> and she turned around and it was a perfect time. And she said, your mom. <laughs> the whole fucking class yeah. laughed. <laughs> that would have been your dude. smart that ass. That would have been that. me, dude. <laughs> yeah. But wet and wild, because Cholo girls were wet and wild, same color red that the goth girls were. Yeah. So we we be at the mirror. And you guys all PD. yeah, with the heavy makeup. Same man. shit. We had yeah. the same same thing, but a different arrangement. You know what I mean? Black so lipstick. Did, did you go yeah. to high school down there then? I went to high school at Roosevelt High School. Mm-hmm. Is that in Boyle Heights area or no? Yeah, Boyle Heights. Yeah. Theodore Roosevelt, four fifty six South Matthew Street, LA nine zero zero three three. Yeah, nice ah. man. I, went to, I was in a swimming team. What? Like I, I, I needed to make up my grades, yeah. So like my teacher, well, the the counselor said, "Well, you got to take the." I, I like everybody was getting, picking other cool classes. I was left with crap, you know. Yeah. So I had to go between swimming class, swimming class, or um, some other bullshit, right? Like electronics, because <laughs> I, I was um when I was going to school. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, like if you were going to school and I was going to school, I was at the 
I was barely where they were getting rid of the classes that were all industrial. Okay, okay, like, yeah. Like wood like shop. Wood shop, yeah. I took wood shop. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. You can make those fucking They're, pencil holders. Yeah, and a yeah. metal shop. Yeah. Yeah, it was rad. Safety are very important. Yeah. Lifting a finger. <laughs> yeah. We took, I took metal shop with, in a seventh grade. Yeah. I can't believe, like, like I have kids now, and I would never imagine them doing like the stupid no. class. No, dude, we used a jigsaw <laughs> in fucking wood class. Or For real, your fingers, yeah. all of them, could be cut yeah, off. Yeah, totally. And no one watched us. We were like, Vroom. we That's were mel- we were melting yeah. metal, yeah. yeah, to make chisels, yeah, <laughs> in the metal class, right? Like actual pot, you know, like Braveheart shit, making swords. <laughs> that class. I don't, I don't know Brave why heart Mr. Shit. Tringali man <laughs> poor guy he was from Thousand Oaks he drove from Thousand Oaks what? every day to Boyle Heights uh. and Tyler's Metal Shop he was bald he was a retired naval ship worker isn't that crazy but all we did was make ninja stars in that yeah, class yeah of course of course Dangerous. ninja stars best shit. man I remember a <laughs> chemistry class <laughs> We um no one wanted anything to do with chemistry. No, I never and even then, took it. I was too stupid. And when the chem we had a mandatory one and then the he he, he knew everybody was like, Fuck your your class <laughs> and he was like, I can make some shit explode and we were like, All right, everybody sat <laughs> up, we're like, Make some shit explode, man. And then they had the thing where like if a chemical gets in your eye, oh yeah. There's a an emergency. The eye wash or bullshit. Yeah. And it's like it's like a hundred Pounds of water per <laughs> second that out of it. Somebody pulled that shit. Nuh-uh. Yeah, not in front of them, but like it was after hours. Oh it was shit! A huge flood. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. fun. It was great. I took drafting. Drafting. You know how Is fucking that, hard that was. Like that was. Boring man. Boring like and hard. It's hard. It's almost like. It's sorry. It's like almost like you gotta just move a bunch of lines, right? Yeah, dude, but it's like a millimeter, a quarter inch. Like you had to learn the ruler. I can't draw for it shit. was terrible. I'm super jealous of being able to draw. Oh, me too. I can't do that shit. In drafting, did you make business cards? <laughs> no. Okay, that's just enough. I don't remember Graphic what. Cards. I don't remember. We just made like cool drawings, like geometric looking drawings, and then you got graded on whether or not you did it correctly. I thought it was dra- drafting was where um, you, you make a whole a remember. whole pattern of a house in square. Like here's the living room. Yeah, Sixth, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think it. that's what you can use it for. But Not we were in seventh that. grade. You know what the only class worth of shit was looking back was typing. I remember typing. I remember typing. I remember typing. Yeah, if you I can remember learn how to type. Shit, here's your the whole annoying life. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah the that, pinky like, work, dude. Those pinkies, man. <laughs> that's so hard. And you're like, fuck, this is uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, it hate My it. hand hurts. <laughs> yeah, I took um, cooking class with Miss Ishitani. Okay. Japanese teacher. Damn, you have a good memory yeah. for that. Yeah, because all, 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 all the classes where I was bad, I remember. <laughs> yeah. I, miss, it should, I got into a fight with some kid named Lalo and, and his, because, <laughs> you know, we were clowning each other and his mom works at a fucking lunch truck selling tacos all day mm-hmm. at the park. But he was in that class. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> so, but he was like one of those rocker dudes with long hair and Levi jacket and... yeah. Those little loafers, Pendletons, uh-huh. whatever the um, wallabies. So you clown them for that? No, he was clowning me because I was all dirty. <laughs> but then, but then we were working. Then, then he said, "Man, why are you trying to work? get this? Get an A in this class? You trying to take over the family business, motherfucker?" <laughs> he got mad. He punched me. We got into a fight. <laughs> Mr. Little is she tiny? Trying to break in. She's little. She got pushed out the way. Damn. Are you a big dude? Then you're a big guy. I was little. I was like medium size, five nine, five ten. Oh, okay. I'm six one now. Now, when you you said um, like that when you first did stand up, you're like you dress in this way. You're bald. You're just getting out of rehab. Yeah. Is it is is doing stand up for the first time tied to you getting out of rehab? Was it like you know what I mean connected in some way? Yeah. When I was in rehab, um, how old were you? I was like 21, 22 years old. Okay. I was in rehab and um, I never I never really spoke in public. Well, actually, I did in kindergarten, but. Like, you know, you, you have an assembly with some kid or reading Spanish, yeah. one to read in English. I would read in Spanish. Uh-huh. And um, this, I was in rehab, so this, we were like a bunch of men, heroin addicts, everyone. And this guy named Tim from the San Fernando Valley Mission, he was like a Catholic priest. No, no, a brother, like Nacho Libre. He did like the the, the, the sad work for the priest. Mm-hmm. Oh, a missionary. Like going to, re- going yeah. to rehab. Type so he thing, would right? talk and... Come up with crazy games, and then he asked everybody, "Write down your your dreams in life." So I wrote down, you know, I have a dream where I, I wake up with no money, but I have money when I, you know, I'm on naked in class. He goes, "No, not those kind of dreams. Your goals." Oh. So we wrote, "Okay, I want to be a comedian. 
I want to go to Italy because I love Olive Garden. Three, be happy. <laughs> Four and five, I don't know. I fucking love Olive Garden, man. I got food on the, just, just the bread and salad. Yeah, that's awesome. And so you really, you really at that time though, you're like, I want to be a stand-up. Yeah. And that that that's that dream. Like I know you you said you first heard Delirious, but from then, did you get into stand-up a lot more after that? Yes. Um, it was like during like we had a VCR. And my, you know, back in the days, if you borrow a movie from somebody, there's like six movies attached to it. Yeah, that, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, um, someone loaned me a, a stand-up comedy, and it had everybody's HBO special. Oh, oh nice! Wow. That's the young comedian with Rodney Dangerfield and sure. Sanford yes. and Sam Kinison, the Dice Man, and um, Howie Mandel special was in it. Robin Williams, Paul Rodriguez, when he was young with a little sweater. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was Paul the man to you then because he was a Latin guy? No, uh, we we know we know him. We liked him more because we we related to, we related, we related to him more. Yeah, his jokes were silly, you know, and funny for us. We could remember him better, sure. like kind of like Richard Pryor, like um, like I, I never heard of these jokes, but my friends were. I remember um, Paul Drew would perform at Beverly at a Belvedere Park mm-hmm. at this annual Latino festival for. Mexican Independence Day during the eighties. Like it was deep, man. Like, like if you went there, it, you knew what gang was there, and it was Maravilla Maravilla Projects, because the the fair was in the Maravilla Projects. Balvadier were connected to those projects, so that's where Carlos Mencia grew up. Those projects, really. But that gang is deep Maravilla Projects, right? Like the Maravilla gang. But it was like a clash of so many gangs there. There was always a fight. But I was never there. I was too young to go. But my friend would tell me, yeah, Paul Rodriguez was there. He was throwing tortillas at everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what do you mean? He goes, yeah, man, they were going under control. And Paul Rodriguez, had a, he, he grabbed some tortillas and he was throwing at the audience well, during the fight. Come on, man, stop fighting Mexican Frisbees. <laughs> that's funny shit. That's hilarious, man. So that's I saw. And then um, they shot Born East LA in my neighborhood. Oh, I remember right that. Outside. That was the best. Yeah. Wait, Chichi were you Chong, tempted though? Yeah. Were you tempted to get in gang shit at all? Like be, being exposed to it? Well, I got, I got, I wasn't like, I got jumped. You did? Yeah, when I, because I used to hang around with these kids that were break dancers. Yeah. But then they became gangs. Mm-hmm. And they started selling crack, and I was always hanging around with him. And one time we were jumping a bunch of people because they were doing bad, and, and I started jumping them too. Then somebody said, man, we never jump your ass in. So then I got jumped in. Oh, oh no. shit. So then you were in? Yeah. Which gang? Oh, the, a gang in the projects. So then did you run with them after that? Um, for Only like for for a little while. So I got into this big fight with um my neighbor. Well, not my neighbor, like my neighbor's uncles, whatever. Mm. I was like, um, I was out of it, man. Like I was on PCP. Whoa. You done oh. that? No. No? I've never done that. I've uh, Tell me about it, though. That's the most... Yeah, that was like the most popular drug in my neighborhood. Like there PCP. was, it was people big would drive, in like the 80, late eighties, right? Or... People would drive up and um, they'll go like this fifteen, and this guy would take like a little vial and dip like a new new port or a cool cigarette, yeah. <clears throat> and they had their own ports, and they'll be like, okay, here's fifteen dollars, all day long, all oh, day long, by all dipping day long, it. Mm-hmm. dipping it, get wet. Yeah, yeah. We just learned that. So, what does it feel like to to smoke that then? Like the incredible whole game with no right. brain. Like they, I remember there were stories it on depends. the news. Like, you, like a woman would be able to like lift a car if the baby was under it or something. That's the it. All depends, you know. If if you're like already crazy and you're mad when you're doing it, you're gonna go <laughs> and do crazy stuff. <laughs> Quite, what, crazy. what if you're in a chill state of mind and you do it? Well, that's my friend Eli. This guy was the guy that he fixed everyone's car in the neighborhood. Yeah. He'll start smoking PCP. PCP so I was fixing somebody's Volkswagen and he'll stay like in a holding the ranch for like two hours straight <laughs> without moving. But what happened to me was I had just finished watching Terminator 2. Oh shit. So I was pumped You're up already. Yeah. I was amped, man. Oh shit. I was drinking one of those sports bottles. You know those sports bottles? Yeah. From AMPM. Yeah. But I filled it up with Long Island iced tea. Oh my oh, God. Shit. So I was ready. When I got to the neighborhood, this guy picked a fight with me. He had just came out of prison. I was like, I was like, look at this old man. Why do you want to fight me? <laughs> he was like thirty. I was twenty-two. Why do you want to fight me? Did you and ask you, him? You just you got into a fight with him. Yeah, and um, 
because uh, they call me Batman, but you're calling me like Fat Man or Whack Man or uh-huh. you know just yeah bad names. But I was ignoring him. But he started pushing me, and then like I'll take, try to walk away. Then he pushed me. Then, I started, then, I, then I went for the sucker punch, and I missed. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> how'd that end up? Oh, bad because um, he cut a punch me in the face. My nose started bleeding, and my mouth immediately. And then they punched me again in the eye. But then um, I started like, I don't know. He, he he was killing me, you know. He was fucking me up. Mm-hmm. But um, he got me to he got me to like in a choke hold in one of those gr- holds, you know. Yeah. I guess the UFC hold they like would call a it now. Jiu Jitsu hold, yeah. Yeah, but you know, people always talk about you know this is how you get out of this move. This is what you do if you ever get in this move. Nah, man, this is what you do. You bite the motherfucker's ear off. Yeah. Don't let go right away. Yeah. Forget about whatever they taught you anywhere else. Yeah. If you bite the ear off, they let go, man. Is that you did? Yeah, I bit half his ear off. Damn. And he, and he let go, and right there, he tried to cry like a little girl. Whoa. Because it started stinging. Yeah. Ooh, so I started sure. beating him up. And, you know, man, that's what I, I, I when I see that Connor, Connor fight and the, you know how, what happened afterwards and how it, what led to it, that's a real fight. You know, I don't yeah. know if you've never been punched. You don't you don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So I was, the adrenaline was going. PCP was in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a full body? I, I, I high? took my belt and I started whipping him like a what? like an like animal in with the a belt. Yeah. Damn. Wow. in Mexico on his face. Yeah. Nice. But I blacked out after that. I didn't know anything. Anything. But they told uh. me that um, his brothers jumped in and I fought both of them and but they beat me up because I know I had more. I had like a blood on my t-shirt. Whoa. Mm. He bit his fucking ear off. Yeah, like a tip. Oof. Did you taste the blood? It was I don't remember, uh, man. I don't remember. What's the, is the feeling uh, in, is it body high, your whole body? Like, do you feel? Very slow. Very slow. Hmm. But, uh, but uh, I guess that anger triggers it. Yeah. Well, yeah. they say sometimes, you know, talk to cops about, you know, uh, fights they've been in and how, like, a guy who's really amped up on PCP, <laughs> can, they can have, like, 10 guys trying to take him down. Well, yeah. He'll, he'll Wait, still fucking keep... It, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't this when LAPD started using taser guns Yeah, and shit? choke holds. Because of, like, PCP use? I want to say... I'm serious. That they no, you might be right. They couldn't, like, restrain people, and they had to start shooting them with the taser guns. <laughs> they might be. You might be right. And if you even got shot with a taser on PCP, you'd be like, rawr. Like was that your out. favorite drug then? No, no, probably the last time I did it. Was then? Yeah. Oh, wow, okay. Well, yeah, you bit some guy's ear off, huh? It's pretty wild. Yeah. But it's funny, like, people would just pop out a, a PCP <laughs> joint anywhere, like, like birthday parties. Yeah. What? Yeah, man. I, I was at a birthday party eating, like, um, I was eating goat, you know, like, bivia, goat with rice and beans and tortillas. And birthday cake. There's somebody go, they Batman. They're gonna go smoke a PCP joint over there. I said, all right. So I, I ate my food in two bites, <laughs> and I went over there and smoked the uh, smoked with them. And thirty minutes later, threw up in their car. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, they're like, thanks a lot, <laughs> Felipe. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah. What about? Uh, did you ever do uh, meth, crystal meth? Not like um, not like a lot like everybody you know where like where, I never smoked it. Yeah, I didn't know how to do that. Like, I thought it was for losers. Yeah, well, meth was popular in the nineties, if I recall. Everyone in high school. It was called it. ice, right? Yeah, yeah. Guinea. Or- yeah, and your uh, stepsister. Yes, 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 that's right. Had a little problem with it. Yeah. Uh, it was pretty popular in the nineties in L.A. And good. Yeah, and it was always in the clubs when I was a goth girl. All the goths were doing. You meth. didn't get into that. No, I, I was avoid? afraid of it. Really? I was afraid of it. From would, stories or what? I just I from Nancy Reagan, the Dare program. Oh, <laughs> shit. I but I did it other worked? stuff. I did LSD. I did yeah. you know pot, other shit. But I just thought it was nasty. I, I just knew it was synthetic. You know. Yeah. I didn't know how it was made. That's what scared so me about meth. It's like just some dude in a basement or whatever. How about mushrooms? Yeah. Well, that's yeah. You know. I done mushroom for the first time like three years ago. Really? I've never As an done adult. It. I've never done it before. I, I wish I would have done it earlier. Yeah, it's hard if to do. If I would have done it problem. earlier, I probably would have never done no other drugs. Because uh, really? you enjoyed it that much. Yeah. Yeah. I was watching it. I was watching Clothing Culture the first time. 
for the first time. But, I've never seen him before. And you were doing it on mushrooms. Yeah. You must have loved it. It was awesome, man. When when, um, when he's building that mountain, I was, I was playing with my kneecap. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, we've had this ongoing debate going on here about ride or die. Oh, for God's sake. I swam the way in on it. Ride so, or die? Yeah, well, here's my scenario. Well, Flip, have you been married before? Let's start there. Married now? No, I'm married now. You're married now. Okay, so yeah. Since okay, there you go. And you've got children, so you're, you've got, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're fully an adult. Okay, he, yeah. he's, go ahead. He's perfectly. He's a grown ass okay. man. Go ahead. So, am I asking awesome. him if he's gonna tell? No, but just whatever. All right, let's say. Ask him if he thinks I'm wife. right or wrong. Okay, or okay. what his okay. wife would yeah, do. Yeah, that's a good idea. How about that? Well, I'll, I'll say this. Let's say, um, tomorrow you're hanging out at the house. Your wife has some things to take care of. She comes back home, and. She goes, what's up, babe? And you're like, ah, I got to tell you something. While you were out today, um, Amazon dropped off a package and, you know, the, the box was all torn open and uh, it was all broken. So I ended up uh, killing the driver. Um, so anyway, he's in the trunk of my car. I just need to go, like, handle this now. Do you think your wife calls the authorities on you, or does she help you hide the body? She'll probably call the authorities. Really? Bam! Oh! You'd have to kill her, too. And what? You would probably have to kill her, too. You'd have to kill her, too. Why is that, Felipe? To Walk the, us through the logic. Go ahead. Yeah, tell, tell us why you think she would tell, turn you in. Because the murder, man. Yeah. You know, what if you kill her? That's what I've been saying, That's dude. Her logic. Because if he's gonna turn on the Amazon delivery guy for nothing, he's gonna turn on me. Now, he didn't turn on the Amazon delivery guy for nothing. The package was torn open. I got it. Everything was broken. But so he's, he's gonna. Upset. But don't you think he's gonna get me next and my kids? I gotta protect the children. Yeah, yeah, man. Look at that. You don't know what's gonna happen next. Oh, burn! But That's I all our time. Facial. All our time. But I saw. A lot, I watched a lot of forensic files too, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what did you learn? Man, when you roll up a carpet, you got to burn the floor. <laughs> <laughs> when you roll up a body in the carpet, you got to yeah. burn the floor, man. Yeah, it leaves really? fibers behind. Yeah. Little hair, especially a person that has curly hair. <laughs> Never kill a person with curly hair. There you go. That's a good one. <laughs> That is the quote of the show. Yeah, the quote dude. of the show is never kill a person with curly hair. <laughs> uh, this says that Diaz is ride or die. Let's see. What he, this is in a file. Joey? Yeah. Oh, this is a... Uh, <laughs> that's right, cocksuckers. Hey. Ride or die. I love you, motherfuckers, all right? Have a phenomenal day. Don't let nobody fuck with you, and it's your world. These motherfuckers are visiting, all right? If you don't want to eat broccoli, don't eat it. Don't do it just because, huh? <laughs> oh, my faggy fucking friends. <laughs> fuck them. Fuck them and get rid of them. You got to get good people on your fucking solid fucking savages that don't give a fuck. If you stab a motherfucker at 3 in the morning and you call them, they say, fuck it. I'm going down to the belly out and I'm going to stab them again. Those are the fucking people you want. If you don't have those people, they're just fucking acquaintances. You know what I'm saying? I love you. Stay black. <laughs> Oye, te tienen que mamarte la pinga hoy, ¿sabes? La pinga te la tienen que mamar hoy porque te lo digo yo, el pingu aquí, porque a mí me ronca la pinga, vaya. I love you, motherfuckers. How much there do you, you love go. Joey Diaz? He's the best. <laughs> but I'm glad Felipe sides with me. You're the first guest we've had. First of all, I don't know that Felipe sides with you. He does. Felipe, Felipe said that he thinks his wife would side with you. Well, but, but but he said that he ha she has to turn. Well, yeah, him in. But he's, otherwise he's gonna fucking kill her next. He, well, she doesn't know that. Yeah, he said it. I got to kill her too. I think she would have turned me in, or you, give me like a two hours to get away at least. <laughs> oh, that's the nice thing. Now here's the thing. Now that's a, that's Flip. a ride or die move. Totally right. To or get, die I move. would give you a two hour head start, and that's I would a ride have to tie or die. Her up too. Sorry. So what? Tie her up. Maybe no. <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't get my no, no, ideas. No, I wouldn't tie her up because then I'd be kidnapping right there. Yeah. Oh, but you're already a murder in, so. Now, uh, <laughs> let's flip the scenario. You get home. You're like, hey, I got some pastries. And she's like, I got to tell you something, Felipe. While you were out, uh, I killed the air conditioning guy. Do you, uh, do you call yeah. the authorities on her? It's your wife. Who's going to take care of the kids? I don't know. I'm asking. I would ask where the air conditioning guy is. <laughs> if 
She goes, I stuffed his body in the closet. So are you going to help me get rid of this or what? No, nah, man. No. That made me an accomplice. Right. Wow. So he's thinking he really is realistic th- he's thinking terms. Very realistic. I like it. He's actually putting thought into it. Yeah. Being very grounded. So do it. we call the call him the popo or what? Sounds like he is. Hell no. We'll call a lawyer first. Uh, really? Like OJ. And smart. tell us what to hide, what to do. Oh, what to and say get, to the, the get the heads up. Oh. Smart. Then call the cops. Yeah. Then I called a cop, maybe, maybe like a cop that I know on Facebook, and then um, <laughs> ask him what would you do. Maybe oh, go. just give him a hypothetical? <laughs> hey, man, if your wife <laughs> just I have a funny question. I'm asking you for a friend here. <laughs> what would you do? He'd be like, Felipe, uh, what are you asking me this for? I don't know. I'm just curious. Now, I like the way he thinks. Lawyer up, number one. Call the lawyer. Mm-hmm. How, that's actually the smartest one we've heard. Yeah. I might do that first and then give you a two-hour. I think that's you a pretty call good call a lawyer idea. and ask the lawyer what he wants to do. I say, you know, I say, you know what? go out there, go eat what you want to eat. Have a good time. Right. Turn yourself in an hour. Right. Yeah, he probably would tell you to go get that last meal. I never thought of that part. Yeah, the food ain't too good in prison. A, a real, like a tried through and through lawyer with experience would be like. Get laid. Yeah, eat. get laid, get paid, get yeah. yeah, get something to eat, and uh, we'll go We'll go after that. Yeah, that's kind of sad. If I was gone like that, if I was gone like that, even though I'm vegan now, yeah, I would fucking just eat like. Three fucking Big Macs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you vegan, really? Yeah. No shit. How long have you been vegan? Since like 2012, I think. That's how oh, long? Wow. Was this, uh, were you prompted by your wife? No, I, I was I was um, doing the Atkins diet. Mm. Yeah. And I was just eating cheese and meat. Yeah. But I don't know shit. I wasn't drinking no water. It was uh, just soda, cheese and meat. Then I was constipated. Couldn't take a shit. Sure. Went to Lamaze class. And then, like, fuck, I rip. I was like a lot of shit, a lot of blood. Like, really? I was telling people, I felt like I was raped by a ghost. <laughs> so you're saying that the Atkins diet, you couldn't take a shit. So then yeah. you, you were like, I should probably eat some fuck vegetables. Fuck this, man. I'm, I'm gonna just eat vegetables now. Yeah. So I went to being a um, vest. I started eating just um, fish at first with no more meat. Yeah. Fuck with my ass, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. And then I just switched over to all vegan. Wow, good for you. You feel good better now? I feel better. Yeah, you got like nothing but greens in you. It's great. How are those dumps now? Stinkier. Yeah. But easier. Easier, yeah. That's good. Um, so somebody messaged us. Uh, they said, I've been reflecting about your studies of gender transitions. <laughs> I was especially intrigued a couple episodes ago when Ari was a guest. Christina asked, who would make the prettier woman between Ari and Tom? Yeah. And then again on the episode with uh, Christine Hazel Decker when Christina wondered if Tom would make a beautiful woman after transitioning. Attached is a graphic I created to help <laughs> you better visualize <laughs> oh, I can't what wait. the transitions of some of your favorite comedy pals might look like. Okay. Definitely some handsome ladies in this bunch. <laughs> Uh, enjoy. Thanks for making me laugh, Jeans. Chloe. All right, here's what Chloe made up here. Oh my God. Oh, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> Whoa, there you are, Tommy. I look like such a slut. With no facial hair, I though. Know, I know. Your eyebrows are not on fleek. I mean, Ari does kind of look like a Ari woman. Looks... He does. Joey's, Joey's, Joey's terrified. terrified. Frida Flintstone. Look, look at Bert. <laughs> Bert looks just like a fat <laughs> southern lady, right? He looks like the um the, the ghost whisperer. Or wait. No. The psychic, oh, the the psychic, psychic medium. Psychic medium. Me- yeah. He also kinda, something. Yeah, yeah what's her also kind of like the what's the fat racist? Paula Dean. Paula Dean, kind of. Oh, kinda, like got, the fat racist chef and yeah, the fat racist he, comedian. I could see him being She's like, like I gotta tell y'all something. Long Island medium. Yeah, yeah Long Island medium. That's, that's right. who it is. Um, and then Joe. Joe, Joe kind of looks like um, a slut who's been through some shit, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. like she definitely. Only the, knows to blow you on a first yeah, date. Yep, that's what yep, this kind of yep. looks she's like. The, that's her compromise. Yeah, she's like, I had a good time. I blew him. You know, but like, I also wow. think it has to do with the highlights. They made her look sluttier. Yeah. Your makeup, this, all your makeup's terrible. Ari is like made to be a woman. Yeah, he yeah. looks way better than you guys. Joey actually looks like some Cuban women I've seen. <laughs> she, she, Joey looks like that lady that at birthday parties, she'll count how many soda your son drank. <laughs> That was seven sodas you drank already. (laughs) 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 Oh, man. You look terrible, Tom. I look like I've been through some shit. I think... You know you Bible whip people. Yeah. Okay, let's rank them on the (laughs) ugliest. Joey, I'm sorry, Joey, I love you, but not a good woman. He's number one on the ugliest. 
Then probably. And then now I'm gonna go too. Bert's terrible. Yeah. Uh, I think because of the fillings. And you know and what this looks like too. Skin tones. This, you know right. what this woman looks like to me. The the Bert woman, hmm. like a really sad woman who puts out a positive vibe. Yeah. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you yeah, see yeah. really uh, she looks she look more like she she asks for the manager everywhere she goes. Definitely, yes. yeah. She like, she asks for the manager, but she's <laughs> also like I just feel like she's like, "Oh y'all, uh, how how are things with y'all do right now?" <laughs> right. And then you find out y'all she filed hungry? for bankruptcy. Right, the inside yeah. is chaos. It's chaos. It's yeah. all it's all fucked up, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Jill he and I are pretty tight. Okay, so I'm going to go so No, no, no. Prettier? Number 1 for the ugliest. Ugly, okay. Ugliest first place Joey Diaz. Okay. Second place, Burt Chrysler. Yeah. Burt Chrysler. Sorry, Tommy. I'm going to give you third place for the ugliest woman. Okay. Fourth, Joe Rogan. And then the prettiest is Ari. So Ari was right. Ari's the, the prettiest the woman. The prettiest transition woman. Yeah. 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 You feel like it? Yeah. What do, would like, you rank them, Felipe? Go ahead. Exactly like that. Yeah. Tommy, what do you think? Yeah, I mean. I, I will I, go like, I will go one, like prettiest, one, mm -hmm. two, three. Four, five. Who's the ugliest? Wait, one is here. Yeah, one is you. Ari. Two is Tom. Three here. Three, yeah. Three is Joe. Four. Four is Bert. Five. And five. Is five. Two. Yeah, that's yeah. that's the order. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Joey's looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you that know, lady. Joy, you do some shit, huh? Been yeah, some shit. yeah. That right. like she was, she was road hard, you know, in her in her younger days. <laughs> now, see, you were kind of like a girl. Yeah, but who... I also looked like a little bit like a burn victim because they had to like pencil well, off my beard. The makeup's not yeah. great for any of you guys. Yeah, but they were able to find uh, hairless photos of the other guy. You do look like no bullshit though. You know what yeah. I mean? You're kind of a mean Because I've been hurt. This looks like I've been hurt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like this woman's been hurt a lot. And you know what? I'm not I'm not gonna get hurt again. No, you're That's in law school I, too. You're in a yeah. fucking show there. Oh that. yeah, yeah. I learned to yeah. read as an adult. Yeah. And <laughs> I've I'm teaching myself the law. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're no nonsense. You're a single mm -hmm. mom. <laughs> so oh, this is total single you're mom. You're a single look. mom, yeah. Yeah. Ari is just that college slut. Oh like, don't you feel like he? This is a women's studies. He gets ultra mud, but feminist. he gets mudded by the whole seventh. The whole floor crew, crew comes up. Yeah, yeah. the whole crew is there. But on the down low. Oh yeah. But he's a fem. Yes, he's in feminine study or women's studies. Yeah. Everything's a microaggression. Seven oh four, come knock on the door. Holes bouncing that ass all over our floor. Nick Newty, good models in the seventh floor crew. We so better stupid. run a seven man train all up in you, so don't bring Jesus. your Jesus. <laughs> We're gonna run a seven man train up all in you. All up in you, yeah. Jeez, Felipe. Why not? You ever heard of that? Damn. Yeah. Seventh floor crew. He's seen some shit. Yeah. You seen some shit? I seen some shit, man. <laughs> yeah. I went to a swingers bar and um. Phoenix. Oof. I didn't know they had that many. That many. I feel like Arizona has a lot of swingers. A lot of shit out there in Phoenix, man. In yeah. Florida. In Florida. Undercover shit. Yeah. Uh, the per one of the a friend of mine told me that he was hanging out at a club one, a comedy club, and place shut down. So it was just like a green room hangout and an orgy busted no, out. No. In the wow. Club. Yeah. That happened. To, well, that happened. Well, it was no orgy, but people were getting lap danced after the comedy show and some place, some show I did in, I think. Scottsdale? No, Scottsdale. Here in LA somewhere. Oh, here. By Pomona. Mm. And it just kind of went from there. I was like, wow, they're getting our lap dances? We haven't even got paid. <laughs> <laughs> I left a show one time in Ontario. And the next day, they, the guys were like, why'd you leave last night, man? Shit got really crazy here last night. That's why I was yeah, MCing. I that shit. No, they, uh, it was the it was real, real. staff was like, yeah, I got, we had to, we had to uh, forcibly ask people to leave because they were doing some... Not so legal things in our green room. Oh, I was like, oh shit! A couple of our friends were there. Wow. Okay. People we know. I You're not going to say any more on that. I think I should probably not. Mm. Okay. It was, it was a long time ago. I'll tell you off. off Florida's night. fucking weird. Florida's I've been offered, weird. you know, hey, there's a hot tub back at our house, like by the owner and his wife. If you want to join us in the hot tub, a lot of swingers That's in Florida, a lot of swingers in Arizona. Hot tub is always the move. That's how you get people That's to a fuck. That's staple right? for for people that want to fuck more. Yeah. Well. I got a hot tub. Yeah. Yeah. In Tampa, like, I was doing a show. And, and that's the city, by the way. They told me yeah. after the show, <laughs> yeah. Felipe, we're going to go party with her. There's going to be a, a lady with three titties. <laughs> <laughs> but they're prosthetic, I guess. Yeah. But she just put a fake titty there. Why? But they were telling me she's gonna, she might come to the show. She didn't come to the show. But I never got to see her. Like in, uh, what movie was that? Total Recall? Yeah, exactly like that. Yeah. With a third titty. Mm -hmm. Damn. 
unreal. Unreal, man. Be great for breastfeeding. I know. Right? Um, and then you also, by the way, I didn't want to forget this. You're one of the few guys, I always feel like, I feel like there was like, I'm probably underscoring it, but you did Last Comic. Yeah. And I don't know. I feel like there's probably five or six people that that show was actually designed for. In other words, good comic gets great exposure and then capitalizes on it. And you're one of those like five or six people. Because a lot of people in the, like, you know, in the execution of the show, you realize you're like, oh, they weren't ready for this show. Yeah. They were just on the show. But they barely had 30 minutes. Yeah. Right. But you're one of the people that was able to. Was that a fun thing to do? Yeah, I thought it was fun. Like, a lot of the, the top five comedians, they already been, they, they already headlined before. They had been on Letterman. Yeah. They've been on stuff. I think they've they had what half hours. What season were you? Seven. And who, like, who was in, like, your final few? And my final one was Roy Woods Jr. He's very funny. Mike Kaplan. Yeah, I know Mike. Um, He's funny. Mike DiStefano. He, he died, rest in peace. And, um, Tommy, John again. Uh, he's oh, great. Oh, John yeah. again. And so you had good comics in your final five. But the people that were like in the top 20, top 40, they, they were they also did well. Like Cristela Alonso, she got on. I love oh, yeah. Cristela. She got her show and Tiffany Haddish. Oh, yeah. Yes. And Lil Rel. Yeah. So they were all on your cool. episode, on yeah. your season. Very good. Yeah, that's a good lineup. There's, some, there's like over the years, I mean, it always stood out to me like people who were ready for it you know like, like ralphie was obviously yeah somebody who that was, was perfect for yeah ralphie. it was perfect for him uh bowden was yes. obviously yeah. really ready for it um uh you i, think I, I didn't realize how rod man he's he, so he was ready he's been yeah. doing it forever yeah i can't name him after that yeah. i think the last winner wasn't even announced on television seriously that's true really who yeah. was do we know who last they winner? sent him an email yeah, <laughs> with a bunch of claps emojis. I like you did it, dude. It's pretty fun. Like, when I won, uh, but it, I, I didn't know like TV is so thorough. You know, they check everything, background checks. Sure. I almost didn't get on the show because um, they found out that I had a bench warrant. Like I didn't go to, I think I failed to appear in court three times. Ooh. So they're out there looking for me still, but it wasn't me. I told the cop, I told the private investigator for NBC and the lawyer, listen, man, I got arrested one time and the only person who knows about that is Canada when I go to Canada. You got arrested in Canada? No, but it, oh, it, it don't, only don't, shows up oh, in I got Canada. You. Oh, right, right, right. That's the only one that it comes up. So it was my brother. My brother committed those crimes, not me. So I had to go find a photo of my brother and then they, they compared the, what? the person what? who got locked up with a person who didn't get locked up. Oh. And they let me go. No shit. But there was a comedian on the show that I know personally. They cut him out of the photo because they were going to kick him out of the show anyways because I'm a criminal or something. Oh. They did. So when they took the photo, uh, I saw that they grabbed him and put him on the left side and they cut him in the, on the no TV. No shit. Yeah. Mm. That's fucked up, huh? So when I won $250,000. Fuck. My son's mom filed for child support. <laughs> no lie. Uh, Just gave me brand new material. Yeah. She be, she became the last baby mama standing. She filed the <laughs> next day. The man. next day. She got like $140,000. From that? Yeah. Damn. Plus, after like 10% of all that, I felt like in that movie with Tina Turner. I just want my name. <laughs> <laughs> so wait a minute. Of a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar winning prize. Yeah, I had two kids, and um, that's one thing I would understand how like you could owe just twenty five thousand dollars in child support, but um, every month you don't pay. They add another three hundred, oh. and it keeps adding up, and it keeps adding. So up. what'd you keep of the two fifty? You you kept like. Like a hundred and something. You got 90. Few, okay, 90. It's all good. Fuck. All right, man. Well, yeah. But here's the thing, though. For you, that wasn't like the, that's what I'm saying. It wasn't like the one-off you won and then you're done. You were able to like parlay it. We went on tour, on an 85-city tour, and I got paid like extra, more than the contestants who didn't win. Yeah. And I got paid more than them, so I got 85-city. It was like an extra chunk of money. That's yeah, great. Yeah, that's awesome. But I mean, you've also, since then- just never stopped working. No, never stopped working. I'm very busy. Yeah, it's great, it's great. man. It's awesome. It's and then my special I did on Showtime, it did well on Showtime, 
but not that many people saw it. But then they sold it to a, to um, Netflix, and it did really well on Netflix. That's great. And then you also did an HBO one. Yeah. Yeah. And um, the, I think the Netflix and the new president is the guy from, I think, Montreal Comedy Festival. Right, right. So that guy, um, when he joined Netflix, he put my special back up on Netflix. Great. That's awesome. So I have an HBO and Netflix. That's awesome. So, Congratulations. And I'm working on doing another one, man. I'm going to do a... Hopefully, I do a half hour special in Spanish. Oh, that's awesome! Do you do you perform in Spanish? Hell no! So what do you I learned do? how to speak English at four years old, so I only spoke fluent Spanish for four years. And now? And now I, I'm not fluent in Spanish. So wait, I don't you, know all the words. Can I, I ask you this? Up. If you were going to do a half hour special, would you do? Um, would you work your act out in English and then just translate it? Yeah, that's how you do it. Yeah. I've thought about trying to do a set in Spanish. I was thinking of doing the set from my old special because it's easier, but then I, no, I just want to do it all new. Yeah. But it's going to be tough, man, because I don't know what, I don't even know what they like or what's going to be offensive. I did it once with Jesus Trejo. Yeah. Yeah. And I just Googled all the, I just wrote down my bits and I have Google Translate it. Oh, you had that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> did you do it? Yeah, I did it. How'd it go? How'd it go? It went okay. Like I got to look at words like hermaphrodite. Right. I have to, I'm t- I'm intimidated by it. I'll be honest, because I just feel like it's not the uh, the language aspect of it, which I definitely would have to you know practice. But I always feel I feel like is the way that I do stand up so in tune with American culture. Yeah. That. That I never it thought resonate, about that. You know, like that I'll say it and they'll be like, "This is fucking weird, man." Yeah, I never thought about that. Yeah, I mean, stand-up is all about cultural context totally. and knowing the boundaries and knowing it really well. Yeah. That's why it's such you, a miracle when... And you understand when, that sensibility, right, colloquialism. But, but have you ever you seen know, a, a non-native English speaker do stand-up yes. in America? And you're like, how the fuck did you... There's this Japanese girl, um, Aiko, I think her name is. Mm-hmm. Anyway, she does stand-up. She's hilarious. I know her. Yeah, is that, yeah. Do you know what I'm talking, talking yeah, Aiko. about? Aiko, right? Aiko. Yeah, she's great. And I'm like, how the fuck are you doing and she's, this? And uh, she came over as an adult. I'm assuming so, yeah. That's and impressive. how do you figure out what? what yeah. I got to do it. Are you going to do that? I, they asked me, uh, hey, Susa asked me, uh, uh, what's his name? Francisco Ramos? Ramos, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. They've, they've told me that they both do like the all Spanish shows. I got to try it. I, I did Spanish. I did like, I, I put together like a seven minute set once for a Spanish television show and it went well. Nice. But it was all my jokes on the first special, so I set a punchline. Yeah. Like, I noche con noche. Conocí una muchacha, me dijo, duerme contigo, pero no hacemos el sexo. Le dije, ok, mañana agarramos almuerzo, pero tú no comes, pendeja. A woman that sleeps with you, but won't have sex with you? Is that I said, I, I met the woman last night, she said, I'll, I have sex, I'll, I'll sleep with you, but we can't have any sex. I said, all right, tomorrow morning we'll have breakfast, lunch, you can't yeah. eat no food. <laughs> See, I think your style good, will actually, yeah. is better Probably for not. translating. Yes, because you have very clear cut set up joke, right? Where like I ramble, and like my joke might be here in a three minute long thing, you might be able to pull off joke, 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 joke. Yeah, but I want to do the special. Like if I get the chance to do it in Spanish, I want to do it just for like American Spanish speakers. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. want to go to yeah. Mexico and do it over there. You know, my, I'm, yeah. I'm not Telemundo style Spanish. Right. I'm ghetto That's Spanish. True. So if I could get a ghetto out, ghetto Spanish people who who barely speak English, like you know, like the people that we see all the time. Yeah. yeah, those guys like the people who sell the bootlegs. Those guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's such a different the Latin culture. What's the show we watch? Not it's not called Sabado Domingo, but I love it. Come on, man! When we were in Florida and Miami, we were in the hotel room. We were El sick. La Flaca? Nah. Siempre Domingo. Which one? I think Domingo. It's on for like six hours, and that That's guy that Sabado Gigante. Uh, Sabado Gigante. Gigante. That's a long ass yeah, show, Sabado man. Gigante, sorry. See that sense of humor, like I kind of, I could kind of follow, this, but I, it doesn't translate. Guy, I forget his name. What's his name? He's been on forever. Yeah, that he's dude. been on like eight Don Francisco. Years. Don Francisco. Yeah, he he's will, German. He's German, I know. but raised <laughs> in Chile. Yeah, and. Guy, by the way, that guy's worth like four hundred million dollars. Yes, I know. That show. And he's been doing it forever. But he, I'll go on. I'll turn that on and literally feel like I don't understand Spanish. Like he, me too. Half of his. Uh, why? Why is that? Because of his accent. It's, it's perfect. Refer- references. 
He's also like like what he's. You it's know, from where is the show filmed? Where is it's there? It's filmed in Miami, I think. But oh, he's okay. he's Chilean. But it's like it's so ingrained in like you know, in the now of what's funny, and also, you know, you can joke with expressions and terms that it's it's that are kind of on the out outlying you know border of of the lexicon, mm-hmm. right? So it, it, if you start saying like. Even something like you know what I'm saying, <laughs> you know right, it, right. that that's yeah. that's not how you would learn English, but that's how people speak English. So he's doing the equivalent in Spanish and like making reference to, uh, you know, maybe a a, a soccer star's wife that everybody knows in Mexico and like yeah, uh, a politician. Specific. Uh, it's specific. Yeah, is references you don't get, and it's also phrases that I'm like completely out of touch with, right? Hmm. Like so, because even the slang varies, just like. Here and in, in, in Britain, the English <laughs> slang varies. And yeah. you have to remember in Spanish, the slang varies from country to country, from Mexico to Guatemala to Colombia to Peru to Argentina. All the slang is different. Town There's to town. Things, yeah, town to town, man. So I don't know. I, I watch, I've watched that guy for an hour Sabado before Higa. and picked up on like two jokes of a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. And you know what's cool about that show is that they'll do like, comedy sketches mm-hmm. and then they'll do like a paternity test yeah yeah like so it'll be like super serious on then the they, next segment then they'll go <laughs> like so rad th- then they'll go like maria <laughs> i could do the most to mama <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. like all quiet maria to mama and they'll both are crying like she hasn't seen her mom in 35 years yeah they'll tell you that she left her daughter came up for adoption yeah she'd be wondering where her mom was and then this little apache looking mom comes up poor <laughs> as hell like and then the, the girl's like rich now like doing well like okay and i watched her going okay man she, she's she has to give her her daughter man she don't want to be like this yeah yeah showing up with dust ass what well, she's here yeah. on television <laughs> <laughs> it's funny man yeah Poor the tears and he's he's the king also at product placement. Yeah, he's a smart everything guy. Everything is for sale on that show. I didn't. Did like, you do? Have you done that, that show that I did? Um, Platanito. Yeah, Aww. that's where I did my step. I did it with Joe Diaz. You guys did that show together. Together, man. If you look at the Aww. video, he's talking real fast, and me and Joe Diaz has four words in Spanish. See, see, tu papi. Yeah, yeah. Platanito, papi. That's why he kept saying it over and over. Yeah. he's fast too. Yeah. What, Yo, what game I, did you play? Dude, and here's the other thing. They pull you aside. <laughs> they pull you aside and they go, hey, uh, this is uh, Latino television. I'm like, yeah, no, no shit. Yeah. He's like, so you have to do everything bigger, right? You have to do everything bigger, which also, by the way, plays against my instinct for comedy in yeah. English, which is to play everything smaller, right? And you let the small stand out, right? So. Right. It's like saying something and you're not showing it, right? Like, that's kind of your instinct. So, you know, they had did this thing where we played this game and then they pour beer down my pants. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yes. And so when they're like, they go, like the first time I reacted, the guy's like, react bigger. He's like, you know, it's for Latinos. Like, you have to, so, <laughs> so then I did it like jokey. <laughs> so they poured down my pants and I went like, Whoy! <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, that's perfect. Like, keep doing oh. it like that. Or they did a, we did a game where they bring out like a beautiful girl in a, uh, in a zip up, in a, like a gold one piece zip up. And they're like, uh, we're going to put items hidden on her body inside her zip up. And you put your hands on her and you guess what the item is. And they tell you ahead of time, we're going to swap her out and put a guy there. Uh, and that's the joke. Hilarious. Is that you think you're touching a girl. But again, wow. they were like, but overplay it, overplay it. So, like, you put your hand on it, and I'm like, oh, ooh, <laughs> you know, like that stuff. And they were like, <laughs> so, and then, of course, when you find out, they don't want you to go, oh, it's a guy. You have to go, like, Hi. ay, por Dios, no lo puedo creer. So, it was, it was that. It was you like, say, que lastima? <laughs> Ay, que lastima. That's what I learned in Spanish class yeah. in high school. Que lastima. Que lastima. He's like, no one says that shit. It's crazy. <laughs> That's funny. Too. It's hard to do all those stuff because you go in there telling yourself, I'm not going to do none of this shit. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I did one, not on his show, but on, on another show. They had contestants, and I was there with these two, like, these two girls. They were, they were actresses. They were real pretty. They were 
I guess, sitting next to me. And our heads were sticking out of this little cage. And then I guess they were going to dump stuff on top of us if somebody oh. gets it wrong. Oh, what? shit. So this, the, the pretty one, they were both pretty, but they thought, like, they, she was not expected. She's like, makeup done, looking all cute. They dump dirt on her. <gasps> like real oh. fucking dirt. <laughs> And then a bunch of fertilizer and grass. And then they put a bucket of crickets down, too. Uh, <laughs> and I up. think, ah, damn, right? And the, the other girl thought, what the hell? She, they dumped, like, hot sauce and spaghetti sauce, <laughs> nacho cheese and chips on her. They must have been so pissed about that. And I was that. Around going, okay, it can't be that bad for me. Man, they dumped, like, all, I started, like, seeing dirt. And I wear oh, goggles, so I thought, okay, fuck this. I don't want to eat none of this shit. <laughs> I closed my mouth, and I looked down, and there were like 30 scorpions. <gasps> what? I didn't even sign up for this, man. Fuck. I was there for 300 bucks now. So, um, no, yeah. dude, there was live, real fucking scorpions. No. And I don't know, like, scorpions would have their own agenda, you know? Yeah. Because they said, fuck Felipe's eyes. They didn't eat that. This fucking scorpion was talking shit to me in that fucking bucket. <laughs> <laughs> so as soon as they got free, these fucking like they went at each other, man. Like <laughs> it, it was like a bu- like, like prison inmates getting let out of the hole. This is the only chance to fight. Holy so shit. the scorpion went at it and they left me alone. Oh my god! And I just started screaming like you did. I went big, bro. Yeah. Ah! Oh, they love it. And I spit one out of my mouth. You scorpions? That was fucking like, crazy. I guess they're the ones you eat, I guess. I don't Wait, know. what fucking show is this again? Bl- Platanito. Platanito. No, they just see Estrella TV. TV. Yeah, Estrella they did it to TV. him. That's brutal, though. Yeah. Dude, I didn't realize they got that raw on that Sometimes show. Sometimes they blindfold Jesus. you and they slap you with a burrito and you're going to guess what, what type it is. Al pastor that's pretty, or carne But that seems funnier, like lighthearted. Yeah, yeah. Not putting scorpions on poor guy's head and Jesus crickets Christ and spaghetti sauce you could sue them for something like that it's pretty crazy it's nutty did they hey, have to sign something before you did that shit I didn't know that was coming man and I, I they've been Jesus. asking me back and I go listen man he goes I, I don't want to get slept by no fish oh, <laughs> I don't want to put I don't want to put my face in an aquarium full of lobsters no Look way that. man the fuck <laughs> <laughs> And they're like, play want, it up. You're like, yeah, I got it. Listen, yeah, man. I don't want to. Go, I don't want to be thrown at me. Unreal. Fuck that. Show How about business. mosquitoes? Are you okay with mosquitoes, <laughs> caterpillars? Um, somebody asked here. They said, uh, "Can Tom point out where this guy went wrong? What should he have done differently? How would Tom go about this?" Let me show you what this is, Gene. Maybe you have a, an opinion on this too. Okay. Felipe. Shocking case of a customer behaving badly at a fast food restaurant. New West police are searching for a suspect who got way out of hand, throwing a drink, allegedly assaulting a customer, <laughs> and damaging retail equipment. Apparently, okay. over a frozen beverage. Is that you, Tommy? It does. You not shave your me. beard? That's <laughs> not me. Before you went I, have, I have very strict guidelines for my drinks, you know, at coffee shops. This guy, I think, went. The man in pink is about to lose it. Words are exchanged, fingers are pointed, and that glass that just got cleaned is about to get really dirty. Okay. The September 6th fast stupid. food restaurant assault well, the appears pe- to have been sparked <laughs> by a Tim Hortons <laughs> ice cap. I guess the order was wrong, it was incorrect. Oh, he's Canadian. Like Gary Owens. A coffee blended yeah. drink all <laughs> over the counter. This irate individual begins kicking and yelling, stopping briefly to check his phone before moving off screen to let off even more steam. Oh. Yeah, Reportedly punched and kicked somebody who tried to intervene after he was insulting and uh, degrading the staff. Damn. Look at this guy. He's cute. Yeah, he's got it together. He looks like he's got PCP, though. He works out. Are those PCP eyes? Yeah, man. Those, those <laughs> steroids eyes. <laughs> they, they do uh, look like a lot of adrenaline in those eyes. The yes, 20-something, 5'6 man wasn't done five foot yet. Six. Computer, Damn. printer, and gift cards go flying. Oh, it's the no gift wonder cards. police want to ID him. To us, uh, it's concerning uh, that somebody could become this irate and this upset <laughs> over uh, uh, workout pants. So I wouldn't mess with her. Whoa. Over an incorrect order. I think it makes a lot of sense. I Tim know. Horton's employees have had to deal with a lot lately. In May, a woman defecated oh, yeah. and tossed the mess inside a Langley Tim Hortons. Now, the new Westminster man eventually took off, leaving one heck of a mess. You know what they say about the customer. 
Those are lazy employees. Just right. You just tell her lazy. St. John Alexander, CTV <laughs> News, Vancouver. What's that? Look, they look lazy. That, that lady right there cleaning that wall, like glass. What the, what the hell is she doing? Yeah, no she sense of urgency. She should be doing urgency. something now. She should be filling it up with food or something. Right. They're lazy. Like, I'm pretty sure this guy's probably tired of her lazy ass. There you go. He probably goes in there all the time. They keep fucking it up. Yeah. And they have a personal gripe with him, man. I mean, he would take it too far, but I can see it. That, they look like lazy employees. Thank you. I yeah. I tend to agree with you. I mean, it's like I've asked for extra ice every time. Do you ever get a cup from Burger King, and you and you, and you get your soda and like four ice? I hate that shit. Like it, it's like he just went like this. Went, you can feel it swishing in there. You could just tell how lazy he was to just grab yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. He just tapped it. I do that thing where they go like uh, they're they're kind of dicks about it sometimes. Where you go, I always ask for extra ice in my co- my iced coffee, so they'll either put five cubes in where i go hey man is this extra ice and they're like yeah i'm like okay or the person goes oh you want extra ice okay and they pack it so full of ice that you can't put a straw in there rude so i have to actually remove some and they're like i thought you wanted extra ice i'm like you know exactly what i'm fucking asking for i'm asking for two scoops of ice it's a little extra ice anyways i could totally see that's you dude you go to tim hortons i think they should they should Find that guy to give him whatever the highest award is you give oh to a my citizen. Oh, God. No, Be like, hey, no, no. Thanks for straightening out these Psycho. people at Tim Hortons. Sometimes, like, you know, like, like if you're like at a restaurant and you take it on the waiter, well, it's not really his fault because he wants to go grab the food from the loser-ass cook. Right, right. Right, That's so you right. really can't take it on the waiter. But right here, the lady was standing right next to her. She probably made a drink herself. You know, this. she's yeah. responsible for that drink. True. But it, I don't know. I always side with the employees. I've had yeah, these but, shitty um, jobs. I, I would I never, I would never do that to an employee because no. I, I worked there. And let me tell you, man, I take care of a lot of people. So have I. I used, to work at, I used to work at a restaurant, and this guy kept yelling that the hot dog was undercooked, overcooked, undercooked. And, I, and then I saw the hot dog cook actually kicking the hot dog, playing soccer with it with the other cook. What? And then he picked it up. No. And they, they, they put it back on the grill. <gasps> And then, and then um, it got they let it burn, and they gave it back to the guy, and the guy gave him a five dollar tip for having an extra burn. Ooh. But they were kicking the hot dog on the floor earlier. Whoa. See, I've never actually witnessed that kind of, you know, revenge. I don't know. I've it, never done it's it. Fucked up. I've never done it. I you know. I've short changed people, but I never done that stuff like that. I've kept extra change. Like if I get extra change, I'm like, fuck yeah, dude, that's your problem. That's a YP, not an MP. But that was a mistake that one time I gave this guy less money and I'm looking at his 20 and I said, well, he took it. <laughs> um, what are you looking at? I'm Jim? trying to find the... Uh, I have to pee really bad. Excuse me. I'm trying to find the... Oh, excuse all right, we got to get him out of here soon. I know he's got to go. Oh, you got to go? Yeah. Go. He's got a big thing today. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Oh, yeah. Here he... Uh, what happened? I want to follow up on uh, Hey Julia. Hey. Oh, fuck. Well, <laughs> can you wait a second? Okay, all right. For one second, I'll be there. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm just going to show her one last thing and we'll get you out of here. I know you got to go. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, oh, so, oh, remind for this weekend. I thought. Did you already say it? Oh, yeah. I'm going to be at the um, the Call Hall Center in Houston, Texas this um, Saturday and Friday. I'll be in um, the Majestic Theater in um, Dallas. In Dallas, Texas. Next week, I'll be at the Tampa Improv. Come check that out. Also, I'm coming to Toledo Funny Bone, but I don't know what month it is. But you can check it at FelipeWorld.com. My first go. time there. And I'm coming to Seattle. At the Moore. The Moore Theater. And I'm coming to Denver for New Year's Eve. At the Paramount. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get there a day early. Hang out. You don't smoke pot, huh? Yeah, I smoke pot. I didn't Not know that. I thought, I, thought, I thought you were the one that smoked when you said you didn't smoke PCP. I thought you were the one that smoked PCP with Tracy Morgan and had that Tracy Morgan PCP story. No, Bert, that's Bert's story. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I was, I did, um, because I remember, I, I, I didn't know that, um, because I know that, um, Jay Moore was telling that story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That but, was, but their that was thing. their, that was their thing. Yeah. But I, yeah. but I thought it was you. The whole no. time I thought it was you. No, that was him. No, I, thought, that... I was like, nah, I can't picture Thompson Moore, Thompson Gura doing PCP or, <laughs> or actually having, uh, a conversation with Tracy Morgan for longer than an hour. <laughs> Dude, but your story you said about Bruce Bruce? Yeah. On point. Oh, yeah. I worked with Bruce Bruce and Mike Epps. Yeah. 
and he was cool, huh? Super cool. Hey, like and, and like if um, Bruce Bruce makes fun of somebody, he'll make fun of them. And off these two, huh? Real smooth, like oh yeah. We, we wear no shoes for it, man. <laughs> One time, this lady was wearing like some flat shoes, and then he looked at me. and goes, Felipe, look at that lady's shoes. Her shoes and her pants were for the heights. <laughs> he's so funny. He's a total natural. So he's, you know, it's funny too. Um, like I watch a lot of Netflix, but I don't like to watch the whole thing because I don't want to get influenced by the comic I'm watching. So watch only ten minutes. Yeah, and if it's twelve, hot. It's hot. Like yours is hot, and um, yours too. I'm not just saying because I'm here, but I did watch them. Oh, awesome! I, 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 I actually Thanks. shared yours. I said Aww. it goes from it was another immigrant with a special. Yeah, and um, but Lover, you know Lavelle Crawford. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, his first twelve minutes are fucking hilarious. Is it on Netflix? Yeah. I got it. I showed it to my son, my stepson. He's 14. Yeah. He died. And then he went to go show it to his stepbrother. He does this bit about um, how they show like people on, on, on Price's Ride and who, who never, sometimes they show you shit they never seen before in their lives. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the right? Bit. So he does, right. he goes long and he does like every national night, but it's funny, man. That's He's hilarious. so funny. We were just watching him last night. He's like, yes. <sighs> He's on Better Call Saul. Yeah. He's great on that. Yeah. He's so yeah. skinny now. He lost a lot he of weight. Yeah, and this special, he's huge. He's like, ha, ah, after a joke. Ha. Ah. Yeah. He's great. He's so funny. Um, okay, so to set it up, just so you have reference for this, this is the guy. So the story is that a, a guy met a girl um, maybe the, the night before, okay? And the, the girl oh, God, is so like- so painful. I know. The girl's like 18. 19 in college and this guy's obviously much older and she wakes up so to, to up. this video on her phone this guy sent her this video the next <coughs> day good morning julia it's me joe just wanted to say hi wish you a great day tell you that meeting you yesterday and getting a look at you was probably one of the greatest moments of my life he's in her house so beautiful <laughs> <laughs> I wish that would be even creepier. No, this guy just... I was in his house, even a message. That's hilarious. In her house. This guy just no, met this bro. girl who was like 20 years younger than him, at least. And then, <laughs> so you know, up. it was one of those things where she probably like... Uh, we're going to find out the details, but like met at a bar. Somehow, probably uh, everyone was drinking. And then he fucking... Instead of texting maybe like, nice meeting you, made a video. Oh, oh sad. Like where he like... I know. It's so embarrassing. And it goes huh? on and on, yeah, dude. He's man. like, you'll fuck. You know, I'll love you like you've never been loved before. <laughs> you know. I'll cherish you. <laughs> yeah. I'll make you feel This guy should like be a 90 a day woman. fiance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Luis. Me. But it's like, it's cringy, right? Yeah. You're like, dude. It's bad. Yeah. It's bad. So anyways, we got this <laughs> message today because no, we've, been, we've been playing this this video. Look, so Looks like Rich Voss. <laughs> yeah. It's hilarious. So somebody said, yeah. to, first uh, of all, huge me. congrats on the new baby. My boyfriend and I are longtime listeners living in San Diego. I was listening to your mom's house the other day. I almost spit out the water I was drinking when you started to play none other than Go T. Joe's full throttle monologue to Julia, a video during which Jujork Titty's full man throttle. That's right, yeah, he says that. professes his love for his one and only Julia with multiple shots of his many ceiling fans in the background. <laughs> I've had this exact <laughs> video saved and favorited in my phone for oh, two years. Oh, my God. It was sent to Julia the morning after she and Joe met briefly at a bar one Oof. night in New York City. Oof. Naturally, upon receiving it, Julia <laughs> sent the video to everyone she knows, including my best friend who I was living with at the time. What? I have laughed for hours and hours over this video, as it is quite honestly one of the most unreal things I've ever witnessed a grown man do after knowing someone for <laughs> less than 24 hours. After getting over the excitement that my own world just collided <laughs> with the world of your mom's house, I knew what I had to do. There is a follow-up video. Oh, wow. Much to no. Julia's surprise, after she did not respond to Joe's initial no. video, he sent another. No. I have attached it in this email. No. He really does seem like a decent guy, but I do believe the follow-up video was a mistake. Fuck. Piss on me and beat me, Kelsey. <laughs> hey, Kelsey, come see me in San Diego. I added a second show. There you House go. House of Blues. This is November 24th. Of all, Here's the real story. Oh. So, okay, here's the real story of how they, the good morning. Julia's gym requires you to sign your name before going tanning. Joe saw her going to sign in. He then looked at her name when she went to the tanning room. No. On the way out, he followed her out yelling, Julia, wait. She stopped thinking she may know him. He then started hitting on her, and Julia explained she was attempting to get back with her ex. 
Joe then called himself from her phone, and the next morning he sent the video. They never dated, never seen each other since that day. No Uber story, no bar story. How did he get her phone? That, that part doesn't That part doesn't really this add doesn't, up. This okay. story is not. So that's what somebody's saying. But anyways, sure. here is the follow-up video. Oh, Christ. I just want to say good morning, Julia, my flower, oh. my precious, my soon-to-be, my everything. Have a great day, love. Mwah. That's it. That's creepy as fuck, though. I don't like that. I don't like when people do videos when they're driving. It's very dangerous. Very dangerous. That's what stands out to you? Yeah, it's not good. This guy. Cecil's going to hit me. Wow. What do you think? Have you ever done a video like that when you were younger? A younger man? No. <laughs> no. You never did anything super embarrassing when you were like so in love? I think I, like, saw, a, I, think I saw a stripper on the way to a bachelor party. <laughs> And I left my comedy card on her car. That's <laughs> yeah. I told That's her, I'm a performer life. too. Oh, I'm yeah. gonna do a show here. You yeah. do a show there. Here yeah, we really are aligned us and strippers. That's it. You know? No, we are. We're just as damaged, yeah. if not worse, than yeah. strippers. Oh, man, Damn, so dude. Weird. Oh fuck. Open up your heart to me in your arms. To me. Let's go full throttle. He sounds like George Diaz's cousin. Um, what's his name? From North Bergen, George. Let's go full throttle. Full throttle. Full throttle. Full throttle. <laughs> um, what is that? Full throttle. Yeah, he's trying to say throttle. <laughs> I don't full know. Full throttle. Yeah. 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 Got that. Full throttle. What can you do when someone sends you a video like that? You yeah. call cops or? <laughs> you could. I, I <laughs> but I think she. But just, she's like st he's talking basically. <laughs> he, that shit is so funny. She, she he's, call the cops. You he's, should. He's really he's really. Cre I mean, here's the thing. That's every really guy knows. Every guy has done a mini version of this. In other words, you say something that you are embarrassed by. You know. Yeah. Maybe you send a text. Maybe it's something in person. But the degree to which he went is that's the part that's crazy. To go that deep on a video. <sighs> on a video, too. So you're like, oh, I can just watch this over and over. Oh, again. It's, it's so incriminating. It's oh. like sending your dick it, pics, it, man. It makes Why? me shiver inside yeah. <laughs> to watch. I'm like, God damn it. Because I feel that humiliation. I do, him. too. It's hard I, for me to I watch. It hurts it. inside. Yeah. Because I've, I've felt that way for people, too. You know, I've, left, I've left a voicemail. Because you know? <laughs> as a comedian, you're watching the whole thing going, yeah, this, is, this whole thing is... Just bombing. It's bombing. It's bombing. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly. Bombing hard. That's yeah, exactly. That's the, <laughs> yeah. But and, and and still comic, doing it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the comics that been doing the same open yes. mic for twenty years yeah. at the annex at the ice house on Saturdays. Yeah, I know. And then like, gee. Yeah, you should not. Shouldn't do it. And he keeps sending those videos. I know. But he'll keep sending them, right? So he gets thrown in jail, I guess. Yeah, probably. <laughs> this is the kind of guy that would. Ri he would actually. I'm lifting our love together. I think he's delusional enough where if she goes, uh, the thing is, I just, um, I'm, I'm just, I don't want to date you. And nah, I'm saying he'd be that like, he'd be like, you know what? Doesn't matter who you're seeing right now. Yeah. Because the love that I have for you is unparalleled. Yeah. And she would be like, no, I, I just don't want to see you. And he's I, like, I wonder if he's, I'll wait for you. That's sad. I wonder if he sends one for every holiday, like he wears like a holiday, like a Santa Claus hat. <laughs> Merry Christmas, yo. Full throttle. Julia. Ho, ho, ho. Full throttle. And let me tell you, I'm not looking for no hoes. You're my only ho, ho. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mother's, Julia. Merry Christmas. <laughs> it's Mother's Day. You could be my mommy. Uh, <laughs> he's so fucked up. There's, I mean, I've had gobble, a few. Gobble, gobble, Thanksgiving. Right? I've had a few. Jo What's his name, Joey? Yeah. I've had a few of these guys in college. This is before the video era. They don't take no for an answer. Right. Uh, you have to be so explicit over and over and over. Like you have to be really like Julia. She needs to just say no very loudly. I think she These probably guys, never responded. Or have a male friend be like, "If you fucking do this again, I'm gonna break your legs." Like, That's you kind of how you do it. He doesn't love you the way I love you. Yeah, yeah. Oh. he's he's Damn. real crazy. Yeah, these guys um, don't take no. Look, we, uh, he's got he's got, oh, got go, to be go, somewhere. Go. So let me let me wrap this up. Uh, go see Felipe this weekend in. Oh. Um, Houston and, and Dallas. Dallas, yeah. Uh, FelipeWorld.com for tickets. FelipeWorld.com for World. tickets. And he's got Tampa Improv coming up. And you're also adding what other place you said? The Denver, Imp the Denver um, oh, Paramount Theater. Paramount Theater, New, New Year's Eve. Okay. Oh, shit. Check out my podcast. What's up, fool? Yeah, what's, what's up, up fool? fool? 
Um, thanks a lot for coming, buddy. Thanks for having me, fool. So thank good. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, closing song is Come Dump and Try It Out by okay. Sons of Dadmouth. All right, guys. <laughs> we'll see you next week.